So, um, so you guys getting ready for the same show? Yeah, same show. Um, three weeks now, baby. Three weeks, the Eastern Eastern USA's. <laughs> and how many shows is that for you? Um, this is gonna be my fourth. Okay. Yeah, my fourth. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so you becoming you becoming a vet now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming now, <laughs> coming in. That's my um. Yeah, my my third year competing. And you my like third, it? Your third year, I love it. I mean, I love it. Yeah, I'm. I'm 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 deep in. So now it's like this is it, this shit or nothing. I mean, so was your first show before Classic Physique was a thing? Um, like, my first show. Yeah, yeah. My first show, yeah, Classic Physique. No, it wasn't before. It was um actually um 2017. Oh, so it was the year Classic Physique finally yeah, came in. Yeah. So you went you did Classic obviously. No, the it was the the following year that Classic Physique was in because I mm. think um the first mm. Eastern Region show that I got to see like with the Classic was the um it was actually Eastern USA's. Mm. Cuz yeah, one one of my close 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 friends had did that same show Eastern USA's 2016. And that was the first time I got to see the Eastern Region guys of Classic Physique, and I, you know, that's when and George the Bull won um, overall. Yeah, I was, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I was, I was, yeah. you know, I was wearing, uh, mm-hmm. I wear Casey, Casey mm-hmm. Fathy's shirt mm-hmm. so much because he mm-hmm. gave me the hoodie, and the, it's actually cool how he got his logo. The way he got his logo mm-hmm. was, we were literally filming, mm-hmm. and he just took a still image. From the video, and he goes, "Yo, can I make that my logo of me?" Oh, I no said, what? "Fuck yeah, man! <laughs> fuck you, fuck yeah, you can yeah. make that your logo." Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> so ever since then, that's his logo. So he prints it on shirts, mm-hmm. he prints it on hoodies. So I was wear, and I wear uh-huh. it because he gave me a ton. Oh, okay, that's dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was wearing it at Apple yesterday, mm-hmm. and this girl across the table, she goes, "Are you Casey?" Mm-hmm. I said, "Well, I wear his shirt enough uh-huh. that you would think I am." Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we start laughing. She uh-huh. goes, "I'm actually George Peterson's sister." Oh went, wow, oh, for shit. Real? Oh, that's dope. I said, yeah. and she goes, "Can I send him a selfie?" I said, "Fuck yeah, you can send him a selfie." We're like mean mugging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's yeah, dude, yeah. Uh, classic classic physique is really that's yeah. the new. Yeah, it's the new. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's the new, and it's, it's dope. It's getting it's getting better and it's getting bigger as you can see. Open bodybuilding I mean, was really yeah. what put the asses in the seats because yeah, exactly. they wanted to see freaks. But mm-hmm. now, yeah, I feel but like people are people. Not, gra- yeah, people gravitate into the look of, of the classic. I mean, between yeah. not just between spectators and between the athletes too. Mm-hmm. I mean, so even you know, I see athletes changing the whole mm-hmm. genre of, of their physique just to fit in classic. You know. Well, it's a crazy aesthetic mm-hmm. look. Yeah. You know, the bodybuilders, it's just mass monsters plus conditioning. Yeah. But with exactly. classic physique, you only have so much muscle to fit on a certain frame, frame. Mm-hmm. that it's got to be fucking beautiful mm-hmm. or you're going to get over the stage. Exactly. You know? and, and yeah, again, it's, and it's all <coughs> packed into, um, you know, they, they give you a weight limit. So it's like you capped off at a certain weight, you know, to, to your height ratio. So it, it, that's definitely depending on your symmetry. And I mean, it's a, it's a great package you could bring with, with classic, you know. And then now you've I done love, classic every single year? Every single time, yeah. Okay. Every single time, you know, um, I feel it works better, you know, in my in my case, with, you know, with my height, you know, with my height ratio. And how tall, know. and just so, because you're obviously sitting and anybody that's yeah. going to watch the video. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm six foot six, so Shit. I'm tall. I'm tall. <laughs> so See, I'm, I'm short to, I'm, I'm yeah. short to everybody. So like when I go yeah. out to a club, yeah, I'm yeah. usually like crowd surfing uh-huh. underneath everybody. Yeah. I'm under the radar. Mm-hmm. That's when Nick yeah. calls those, uh, those Funkos sitting around. You feel a little bit better about yourself, I do. right? Mm-hmm. I feel so good with them oh, around okay. here. It's <laughs> your boys. That's mm-hmm. it, man. Yeah. So easy. What's the weight you have to make? Um, the at weight. Six, six, because it's yeah. got to be up there. Yeah, six, six. I think the toppest weight I could get at six, six should be. Um, two, two sixty two. Oh shit! All yeah. right, yeah, and, um, that's not too far yeah. off. Two sixty two is two, the cutoff. Two sixty two yeah. is the top for for my height at the um, at the more at the more in, um, under pro amateur level. Yeah. Mm. Damn. Yeah. I mean, that seems yeah. that yeah. seems like crazy to me yeah. because mm-hmm. for me exactly. at five seven, that's yeah, exactly. it's another exactly. fucking world. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm, for you, mm-hmm. I guess, what does your weight stay around? My weight right now stays, you know, stays around. Um, Competition weight. I'm I'm in the two sixties right now, actually. Um, close close in the um close to show 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 cap weight, but my two, my weight goes anywhere between like right now anywhere between, I say at bet at lowest maybe two eighty eight to probably over three hundred pounds. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. touched you touched three hundred this yeah, year. Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. I touched yeah. three hundred. I was I was actually highest. Got to three hundred to seven pounds. My highest. Mm. Yeah. Of weight, yeah. But, and how um, do you how did you feel walking around like that? It, it, it's it's pressure. It's pressure. It's you know it. It's not it's not the most you know energetic mm. thing. But um mm-hmm. yeah. But like I like the a little bit lower. Like I'm I'm feel I, I felt a little comfort better dif- differential at um I say around three hundred and two pounds. I was mm-hmm. fine. Three at three hundred two mm-hmm. was fine. Per- mm-hmm. I was I was good there. But you know when I really got into for one moment a brief moment of three hundred seven three hundred six. 
I felt a little like off. You yeah, know? it becomes too mm-hmm. much, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even extra two, three pounds can is make a big difference oh, in the way fuck, you, yeah. in the fuck way you feel. Yeah. Up, it's yeah. 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 yeah, every little five pound increment, yeah, it that's, blows until you get used. That's to what it. it does. Yeah, exactly. You know? And plus, it, your body's taking it mm-hmm. for a shock. Like, what the fuck is this? I never yeah. felt this before. Yeah, like me, as you saw me this year, I was. 253 you know mm-hmm. i'm only five, exactly. i'm only five nine five yeah, exactly yeah so yeah, it, you, it was the same thing for me yeah, obviously it wasn't, it on, yeah. i wasn't 300 something pounds yeah 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 you packed it on height yeah, for your height ratio, exactly and then your I'm, body it was new mm-hmm. to your body oh well, yeah, it was new. yeah by it like 20 new. pounds i'm yeah, sitting see? here going what the fuck is yeah, exactly. going on it was 20 pounds you didn't have the, the previous year yeah exactly so it was like but it was it was funny because mm-hmm. at my heaviest weight i was finding out i was hurting myself a little bit doing stupid little things exactly there was one day i hurt my knee i'm like what the fuck did i do my workout was perfect. Everything mm-hmm. was fine in the gym. Nothing happened. I'm a little tired going up the stairs, mm-hmm. but I was running around with my pup in the backyard, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was doing like quick little pivots. Like, yeah, that had to be it. Yeah, man. You yeah, know? It's, it's, it takes toll on the toll on the body, which your body weighs. Even now, I've been you know keeping the cardio tight and more conditioned physique and frame now. And now you know I catch myself sometimes running, and I feel good, and I don't feel tired. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's feel. You know what I mean? Because you know I was always grew up. Um, more, um, you know, athletic running, you know, playing basketball pretty much all my life. Mm-hmm. So, you know, so that was your main sport. That was my main sport. So, yeah, basketball was all my life from um, from junior high school to high school to college to, you know, even semi pro. I mean, oh, basketball. Oh, shit. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I played in the um, CBA. Nice. CBA, yeah. CBA. And um, I played in the ABA league also out in um, West Palm Beach, Florida. This mm-hmm. was after, after college, yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I was playing with older guys, you know, being one of the young guys, but. You know, felt good because I was I was I was killing them. I was, yeah. yeah, I was killing them. Snapping ankles. Yeah, yeah, I was killing them. <laughs> I was killing them. I was killing them. There you go. You know, I was killing them. I'm Did a, you ever get to go overseas? Overseas, no. I never got to play overseas. Um, no. Um, I just took it as far as that. Um, that ABA level at at highest, but um, you know, college and getting a scholarship and playing in high school and and playing through big leagues like through um side leagues and AAU and stuff like that was very, very big for me, and it, it helped me a lot, you know what I mean? So what made you stop? Yeah, it was stopped, yeah. It was, I had a lot of injuries. I had injuries. Mm. I had um, had injuries. I had family issues. I had, you know, just childhood issues growing up, and then, you know, I moved different places, different cities, different towns, you know, playing, and even um, in school. I went to school in southern Florida, so it was different for me being by myself. I didn't have my mom. I didn't have, you know, family. I didn't have, you know, the same homies I was around growing up, you know, that mm-hmm. actually had my back and supported me. So it was different, you know. It was and that's different. big, man, when you're growing up. Yeah, exactly. Especially exactly. when you start exactly. shifting around. Moving. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm by myself. So I'm, it was a lot of stuff that, you know, you know, you learn when you're growing up, becoming a kid and to a man and being um, having responsibilities. That was just learning just out there by myself. I didn't learn it at home, you know. You And you grew up? In the New York area? Yeah, I grew up in I grew up in Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah, from Brooklyn. Um, from Brooklyn, I came up in Coney Island. That's that's my that's my town, Coney Island. Yo, I'm trying to get out to Coney Island yeah, yeah. for the summer <laughs> yeah, to yeah. go play handball with everybody. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coney Island's dope with that. Yeah, mm. Coney Island, right there, right there. Coney, everybody's either um they play in, right there on the on the turf right there between the beach and West Eighth Street. They is, is they get busy over there. Packed. Yeah, they get you busy wait, over there. Yeah, you wait days for mm-hmm. a fucking they get busy game. Over there, That's yeah. insane. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's sick. I I was nice with it in high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I played a ton, man, and I, mm-hmm. I'm cut class. Yeah, and yeah, I'd just go to play, go right. Yeah, exactly. Just to get a mm-hmm. band teacher will come outside. He'd be like, Nick, what the fuck? It's like, oh, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's it's seventh period. You yeah, still exactly. got class. Exactly. Yo, I got money on this. Yeah, I got twenty word. riding on this game. Get out of here. Exactly. You you're hustling in seventh grade. There you go. Listen, man. It was a good. It was it was a good. Uh, it was a good lesson because mm-hmm. I'm sure you can attest to that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. When you're playing sports outside, mm-hmm. you know, you're with a bunch of guys. Exactly. A lot of testosterone. Yep, exactly. You yeah. learn. Exactly. Can't snap off on every mm-hmm. cat because not everybody's the same. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And everybody is talented at different levels. And then you got one who think they better than the other. Then you got one who, you know, who want to who wanna play or want to be in a certain scenario that they – want to be in but they can't be in because they're not good enough so mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's a you know it's, com- it's competitive nature you know it's either put up or shut up yeah, exactly that's it. Yeah. competitive and, nature and if you can't put up yeah. the fucking door is right there yeah. exactly go go outside yeah. go play there a different exactly. court exactly get out of here <laughs> my uh my pops played uh-huh. uh basketball when he was uh-huh. younger uh-huh. i'm like the epitome mm-hmm. of a white kid oh wow. when it comes to basketball uh-huh. yeah good lord mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> i can't shoot for shit nothing so i i know that's uh-huh. my limit yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll stick to handball mm-hmm. bodybuilding mm-hmm. i'll, I'll stick to go. those stick to that right but uh my pops is amazing mm-hmm. he played um at carry carry um, okay. 
Franklin Square. Okay. And then he went to St. John's. He played on St. John's. Oh wow, that's dope. So, yeah. yeah, he was yeah. he was mm-hmm. nice with it. Yeah, that's nice. Unfortunately, yes. that didn't his height yeah. and his basketball skills yeah. didn't really hit down the genetic tree. Yeah, yeah. By the time it got yeah. to me. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. But I'm sure your your father was a, a baller though. That was his thing. He yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he loved it back in the day, yeah, man. Right. Yeah, back what, I fucking seventies. Seventies. Oh, see, wow. yeah, see, seventies. I bet. Yeah, yo, I, I, I bet I, I would romp on my dad so hard with the shorts mm-hmm, up to there. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's close to the um. That's close to like the Jerry West era. Jerry West, yeah. Who's Jerry West? Jerry Teach West. Me. Jerry <laughs> West. <laughs> Jerry West is who you see. Who y'all guys would see? Um, if y'all ever see the the, the logo of NBA, I knew you were. That's Jerry West. Go. That's All Jerry right. West. There Listen, man, I Jerry not, West is the father. That you is know? so <laughs> funny because yeah. I was just watching. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who is it? Mm-hmm. Clippers LA last night? Yeah, last mm-hmm. night. Was I was game. watching it last mm-hmm. night, and I looked at the logo, and I said, where did they get, get that, that logo? Because exactly. I said, shorts are up high. Mm-hmm. Oh, I said, you see it on the logo, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I said, I said who is, who's on that logo? Because it's got to be somebody. Mm-hmm. That's so fucking yeah, funny. That's Jerry West like the that. father. Jerry West <laughs> the father. And how long did you play ball for? Um, I played since I was uh, like 11, 11 years old. Like I mainly started really like loving it, but I've been played a little bit younger than that, but I was kept playing until um playing hard till my um you know early going into my mid tw- early to mid 20s and, yeah, and, so. and 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 the injuries that you had would you have like knee shit yeah knee in, yeah, knee injuries for sure yeah knee mm-hmm. injuries for sure i had a big um big knee injury in high school time um playing in high school um in the um in the AAU league i caught a big injury actually on a on a dunk actually i um i, I caught, had a partial tear partial tear my um my left um left le- knee ligament was yeah. like the, the, the oh the ligament yeah the ligament it was the um the patella I, or the um meniscus it wasn't the meniscus it was the um it wasn't the acl it was the pcl oh okay yeah right. pcl but you know at that time it was a partial tear it wasn't a full tear equally painful yeah exactly mm-hmm. Equal, the pain was there and then the recovery got to be spot on and then you know and but the you know the blessing was that at my age and that it wasn't a full tear that needed surgery i was able to kind of bounce back to playing, you know, was it never the same? Like as far as that, with that strength capacity, or that it get really withstand that threshold that you know that it usually could take naturally. Mm-hmm. But you know, I worked my way through it, and I still was able to, you know, once you know the game, you could you change things around. Just like working out, it's like you heard yeah. the, you heard a shoulder, then you know how to work, you know, change your your, your game plan, you change your you know your workout routine to work around it. So I was able to change my game to work around it. You know, ha- having that you know issue. Here and there, you know. Mm-hmm. What's his name? The running back. Uh, oh God, the running back from the from the Broncos. He was on Joe Rogan's podcast recently, okay. and he was talking about how fucking beat up those guys get mm-hmm. after a game, and you don't feel yeah. it until after the yeah, game. After, the yeah, after the adrenaline yeah. is yeah, just exactly. pulsing. You're going, yeah, you're going. You don't. Yeah, you don't feel that stuff till like you till you home in bed or the next day. The next morning. The yeah, next, next morning. day. Yeah. He next said day. there was a morning mm-hmm. when I couldn't even walk to my mm-hmm. own bathroom under my yeah, own. Yeah, the next mm-hmm. day. It took yeah. him 15, 20 minutes just to walk to the mm-hmm. bathroom, and he's just like, "My body is taking a fucking yeah, yeah, hit." Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man. What yeah. we do for sports, uh-huh. right? Yeah, exactly. Because you crazy. get the same shit. In yeah, it's the same thing. Same oh, yeah. thing in lifting. Same thing in training hard. You get the same thing, and then you know you you, you try to mental it over because you still you want it so bad. You know, mm-hmm. you want it so bad. So have you ha- I'm sorry, I don't mean to yeah, interrupt, John. Have you had any, and I'll let John mm-hmm. uh, get his question in, have you had any, I guess, re-flare-ups or issues with it since then in the bodybuilding um, world? Um, not, re- not. I think I had some feels here and there, but I don't think it's the same. I don't think it's from the same um, situation. I think it's just, you know, something that comes from within time and then, you know, you know, intense training and then just, the, you know, just being, putting, having wear and tear on the body with Tom. So I think, you know, stuff stuff comes, stuff pops up here and there. But, you know, I don't, you know, I know how to, you know, work around it. And then when this feeling is best, you know, I, I go for it all. Yeah. You know, I, go, I go for it all. So mm-hmm. I, I take advantage of the, those moments. You know, those moments I get here and there and it's like I'm feeling so good. I don't want to stop. When you, you know feel beast mode, you yeah, walk beast in the mode, gym. Exactly. Everything's just fucking exactly. yeah. working in your exactly. favor. You just wanna, yeah, exactly. You don't want to stop. You don't want to stop and you enjoy it. And you get, those are probably like mentally probably the best workout days you could have in your, in, in your head. Like. Like you just crushed that shit, and it was you know somewhere you had a somewhat of a problem. It was a no problem for you, and you came in there and just you know just took over your shit. You know, I, I really you know that's that's something that makes you feel good in the gym, in the gym or on the basketball court. It'll make you feel good. So mm-hmm. that locked in feeling. Yeah, exactly. I get know? that. <laughs> yeah. I get that. Even though I'm not yeah. competing anymore, yeah, I yeah. wake up some mornings. I'm just mm-hmm. like, damn. Mm-hmm. There's there's nights. I'm not even joking, man. It, was, it must have been a couple weeks ago. I was out with my buddy Gabe, and we were in uh, Rockville Center. Mm-hmm. Yep, we were in Rockville Center, and we went to the first spot. I yeah. said, 
beat. Uh-huh. Or, uh-huh. Fucking horrendous. Yeah, yeah. I'm going, why <laughs> you dragged me out? Mm-hmm, yeah. I could have stayed in my jam mm-hmm. jams, yeah. and I would have been happy playing Xbox. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We go to the next spot. Uh-huh. He meets up with this chick. Mm-hmm. She's cool. Whatever. Mm-hmm. We're hanging out with her and her friends. Mm-hmm. Just hanging out. Yeah, bullshit. One, one, one a.m., <laughs> I'm like... We we best be out because oh. Nick's Nick's hitting legs tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, yeah. feeling this workout. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's <laughs> so when I post my John Wick. Uh-huh. Yeah, when I post, my, I yeah. usually post my John Wick. Mm-hmm. I'll be like walking into the leg day, like, mm-hmm. and I just him blasting people's yeah, heads yeah, off. Hell yeah, <laughs> I'm sure I have people like, what? Why is he posting mm-hmm. this? Is he gonna go on a shooting yeah, rampage yeah. at the gym? Yeah, it's like nah, bro. I'm yeah. just feeling hell myself. Yeah. You getting you getting that, that you're getting that mental amp. Getting in my bag. That's yeah, it. You need that. Yeah, you need that. You need that. <laughs> yeah. No, you see, the, tr- the trick is, Nick, what you got to do when you're going oh. out with your friends like that. L- mm-hmm. let, me, let me enlighten both of you here. Oh, please, right? te- teach me, John. Okay. <laughs> it's all about being the best wingman. So yeah. if you got to get up early, you get your friend laid as soon as humanly <laughs> possible yeah. at the first yeah, place, the first girl yeah, you meet. Get, yeah, get and then in. you go home, you get mm-hmm. back in those jam jams, you go back to bed. Right, right. back in my jam yeah, jams. Get so he in. knows. Yeah, get him in, get him out. There yeah. you go, right? Told, yeah. he's, he's like, yo, I feel bad because you're just standing. You know, mm-hmm. you're just standing. I said, listen, man. I said, I'm with you. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm here as to watch a, as, you. As a, as a friend, yeah, yeah, as a brother. You're a lone man now. You get into a problem, you're by yourself. I said, at least I'll be here. I said, I'm going to bounce soon. Mm-hmm. So, I know yeah. you drove. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll take an Uber back. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I said, but mm-hmm. if this is working out, Godspeed if you're taking her home. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Exactly. That's even better. I'm not going to cock block. The word, exactly. However, mm-hmm. jam jams, mm-hmm. and in six hours, daddy's hitting that leg. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> you ready. So I'm ready, ready I'm ready to go, man. You're ready man. to go, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're thinking about your, your your pregame breakfast for the morning. It's weird, workout, man. Yeah. I, don't, I don't compete anymore, mm-hmm. and I still think about shit like that. Mm-hmm. I still think yeah. about... Like there'll be nights where I'm just out. I'm like, God damn, I can't wait to get to the gym, the gym tomorrow. Is, yeah, that's, yeah. I can't wait to hit it. See, this, you really, you really in it. See, mentally, mm-hmm. this, that's your shit. You know, it, you know, it's because, yeah. and I think it's also because I was so heavy mm-hmm. and I was so out of shape. And lately, I've been getting back in shape. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And all my clothing's fitting me, mm-hmm. and I'm fi- and business is going mm-hmm. good, mm-hmm. and we got the podcast, mm-hmm. and that's we're, dope. B- yeah. we're blessed to have good ass people like you come yeah, on I, and I talk. And that, just, yeah. you, mm-hmm. you know what? It, it's all good vibes. It is, yeah. You know, I talk about this a lot. I purge my circle mm-hmm. constantly. Yeah, you got to. If you're mm-hmm. not, you got to. If you're not about that, yeah, exactly. If you're not helping me, mm-hmm. if you're not motivating mm-hmm. me, if you're not in my corner, exactly, cheering me on on my failures mm-hmm. and my greatest accomplishments, mm-hmm. then I don't want you there that's at the winner's circle that's, in a couple that's years. True. That's true. That is the winner's circle. Even if it's the small three man, even less than a handful of people circle, that's what you got to keep. Yeah, but those are the best ones. Yeah, that's the... You know what I mean? That's how you know they're legit people. Exactly. The bigger that circle gets, Mm -hmm. the wider and diverse your your skew of it Mm -hmm. gets. You go, well, all right, I'll I'll let that guy do that. I'll let him in there, even though he's a fuck up. Mm -hmm. But if you have one tight knit circle of a couple of good people, that's true. Nothing's gonna stop you. That's true. That's that's the... I told you, I got a lot of acquaintances. I got a lot of acquaintances. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. Friends Mm -hmm. and family... Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't. I, you can classify everybody as a friend and a family, yeah, and yeah. you know, mm-hmm. friend, but mm-hmm. family. Family, you can't. Yeah. Yeah, man. Family is only one of one in family. You yeah, know? and only and if somebody one, goes, yeah. if somebody that I'm tight with, man, mm-hmm. my 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 group of friends and my friends in previous years, they know, man. Yeah. I'm the I'm the nicest motherfucker mm-hmm. when it comes to everybody. Yeah. I dab everybody up the same. Exactly. I dab people up, th- I, dude. The cl- and I'm not trying to pat myself on the back and get clout, but mm-hmm. I I'll dap up the cleaning guy here. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody talks to him. Mm-hmm. I'll talk to him. Of course. I'm of like, course. yo, man, good to see you. Yeah, Appreciate exactly. you doing your doing exactly. your all, yeah, cleaning yeah, the he, office. He, he in here doing mm-hmm. his duty, putting a his job work that in nobody wants yeah. to do, every but day, you're doing yeah, it every day. But <laughs> when somebody fucks with me, man, exactly, and they give me one ounce of grief, oh, yeah, that's it. You you like you might as well have never existed. Exactly. Yeah. I don't exactly. play that game. Yeah, exactly. And I can't I, pretend to like some. I said on the last one, I can't pretend yeah. to like somebody. So it's either we fucking with each other mm-hmm. and everything's exactly. cool, or mm-hmm. I want nothing, nothing to do with nothing. you. Don't yeah. even look at me in yeah. the gym. Go the other way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's don't, huh? Pretend that's like it. we don't exist. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> yep. what it is, that, and that's and that's genuine. That so that you got to respect. Well, how many people have you come? Ac- listen, well, and how old are you? I'm 31. Okay, so you're yeah. a little older than me. I'm, I'm 28. Yeah, I'm yeah. 31. Yeah. So, so, how many people have you come across um, like that? You come across the fakes all the time. Yeah, I come. I, I do. Mm-hmm. I do. Um, yeah, I come across fake people all the time. Whether it's um, whether it's in the streets or whether it's you know friends from the past, whether it's people I meet in the, the present. You know, I don't. You know, I don't. In my agenda, I don't really. You know, really keep too many people around me. But I have like a good certain core people that I got that love for and I got that love for me. Those that's, lockdown people. Yeah, those lockdown mm-hmm. people that
for the downs and they there for the ups and the success or the not success and they they still there they riding with you and mm-hmm. there's no there's no bullshit everything is real you know mm-hmm. everything is real so I and mean, how and how many how many are from that tight circle how many would you say are still from when you were younger um from when I'm younger I say I say uh, about a good a good six people okay a, a and, six. and I'm sure that there was a go. much larger exactly. number when you were younger of mm-hmm. course of course it was it was it was big number big numbers big groups of people people you don't even really know too well they but just move as a wave yeah, exactly because yeah. it feels good yeah, exactly people well, it, was, don't, it was whole teams for you exactly of whole course. teams in multiple of course. cities of course exactly mm-hmm. so yeah meeting people yeah like you said different cities or everywhere you know everybody is not just meant to be you know a part of your, your foundation or what you what you got you know so but the people that are then you treat those people you know, i mean extra special <clears throat> you go, i go all out for my people Anybody mm-hmm. that know me, they know I go all out for them. I'm like loyal to the core. Because you know it's 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 a it's a two way street. Exactly, of course. And that's you're not gonna go all out for somebody, and then exactly. some shit happens to you, and, mm-hmm. and they're not gonna show up. Exactly, they're yeah. not gonna be there. Exactly, it's the same mm-hmm. way. And I, and like you said, that that is like you know when you get that kind of you know thing going on with your people, I, yeah, that's like when you know friends. Sometimes, yeah, like you, I could I could say it like friends become family. You know what I'm saying so. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, it's real like that. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. Yeah, man. Of course, you definitely. Gotta, you got to listen to the you got to listen to the Pusha T mm-hmm. interview. The Pusha T interview with uh, Joe Budden. Oh, okay. oh he, he did had it. him uh-huh. on because mm-hmm. uh, this is like a year ago, okay. right after he released that uh, Drake diss. Okay, I remember that. That's so right, right after he released mm-hmm. that Drake diss, mm-hmm. Joe had him on to like clear shit up oh, and just did, talk okay. about everything. Yeah, and and Push was just saying, man, he goes, "Yo, he's like, I got love for all my boys." He mm-hmm. goes, "But if you couldn't fight." You couldn't come to the mall with me. Yeah, exactly. He goes, that's it. I'm not going yeah. to get jumped You're because you can't get fight. He goes, and yeah. then I'm mm-hmm. going to hate you. Mm-hmm. He goes, I love you. Mm-hmm. Stay at home. I'll play yeah, exactly. basketball with you when I get back. Mm-hmm. He's true. like, but I know the people for who they are. Mm-hmm. Everybody got their boundaries. Everybody got they got got levels. You yeah, know? and that's mm-hmm. what he was saying. And he yeah. and, and and the yeah. big thing was mm-hmm. he was talking about with Kanye. Mm-hmm. They said, well, shouldn't Kanye know that? You know, shouldn't he feel some type of way and 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 and, and not have not have fucked with you and uh and and the Drake thing and he goes that's not on him. Oh yeah. He's like uh-huh. it's he goes he mm. he can, he can still be cool with Drake. Exactly. He goes that's not me though. Exactly. I can't pretend. I don't play neutral. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like oh shit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I've never connected with something mm-hmm. more than that. I was like he's like I don't play neutral. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. real. He's like I can't pretend to like you. Yeah. He's like you come after one of my boys. Mm-hmm. He's like that's it. Now exactly. you're over there. Yeah, your enemy is my enemy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's 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 real. You know, I, that's real. And that's the way, you know, I I grew up that same way. So even if I don't know you, but if my people know you and they got something against you or something was done and some kind of intention, is is no more to talk about. It's a wrap. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for telling me that. All right, cool. Now I'm looking at that dude with red eyes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, you know? I, I fucks with so, that, man. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if yeah. John has some, but I wanted to start kind of like ground up. So mm-hmm. obviously basketball mm-hmm. coming up the ranks mm-hmm. what'd you get involved with i guess work wise as you were coming up um coming up um yeah like like even now let's just say i have my own business i run my own business on um, personal protection entrepreneurship you know I mean? give me yeah, some dap yeah, i love that what it's all right about, there. that's what it's Entrep- all about entrepreneur i do my own thing and i've been doing my own thing for you know a long time you know Good so for you. and that's mm-hmm. mainly the foundation of who i am that's another it's a you know it's a part of me and it's also a reason um you know even after basketball, even before bodybuilding, I still, you know, kept myself together, kept myself in shape and everything else because, um, you know, between your work and everything you do, your mind and even your image, everything speaks for itself. You know what I mean? And me, I pretty much what I have going on business wise, I built on my own. Nobody didn't build for me. Nobody didn't build for me. I even actually helped other people build for them for themselves. You know, so I put a lot of people in good positions, you know, so because of, mm-hmm. of who I am. And because of the places I've been, and because of things or people I come across, you know, so I'm that kind of dude. You know what I mean? If you, if I'm rocking with you, I'm rocking with you. You know, like in all all levels, not the whole just fam- yeah. the whole fam- uh, yeah, exactly. I'm eating. The exactly. whole family's exactly. eating. Exactly. Of course, that's like, how, I, that's how I gotta go. I can't tell you how many times you tried to get me in with five yeah, exactly. percent. You know what I mean? Exactly. Just do, doing an event with you, exactly. or trying to bring mm-hmm. me along. Just, exactly. Hey just, man, this is going on. I can't. Mm-hmm. How much fucking free clothing you gave me? You yeah, know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. It's, it's like it's crazy. It's, 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 yeah. That's how you. That's what you want. You want your people good. I mean, if you good, if you're in a good place. Then even if you're not in the best place, but if you're in some way of a great position and there's people, good people like that next to you, and you know you, the energy is likewise, then of course you sh- you share that love. Good you know energy I mean? is hard to find, man. It's hard to find. Yeah, it's real it's hard rare. To find. Yeah, it's hard to find. You know, I get asked a lot, especially on the filming side, and I want to get back to five percent mm-hmm. and just your affiliation with them and everything mm-hmm. like that. But um, 
I get asked a lot, like, who's your favorite person to film? Who do you mm-hmm. love to film? Who do you love to film? Mm-hmm. You know, consistently, mm-hmm. Kai Green mm-hmm. is the exact same person that you see on camera. Every time he is like mm-hmm. that when the camera's off. He's uh-huh. like that when the camera's on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's That nice. dude is just good. Yeah. He's just good to the core, man. Mm-hmm. And I... Dude, whether I, which we, you know, I do a lot of stuff with them and mm-hmm. we got a lot of stuff coming up, hopefully, nice. as long as it continues to work out, nice. which I hope it does. I love them. I love yeah. the team that he has. Um, but like, I wish nothing but good for that dude. Yeah, that's man. good. Yeah. yeah. He is just good fucking people. And that, and that thoughts become things, man. Mm-hmm. That's real. Yeah. He's been giving back since he had nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For I, real, I, though. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I, I, I see him. I see him a lot. He, you know, he goes to um, the gym. Co- Coliseum. Yeah, I yeah. see him at Coliseum. And then um, an, another gym I started. Crossing into this gym called um, what is it called um? Is that the one in Queens? It's like in Queens area, it's like um Force Fitness. Okay. Or, or, or is that, does that have all the blue walls? Blue walls, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's one of my mm. gyms now. I'm, 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 I've been going there since um since basically this prep I started going there. And you like so, it? Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool gym. It's like it's 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 calm. It's not like loud. It's not like a lot of people. That's why I could see why he like it so much because mm-hmm. he's he's there off and on. Throughout, but it's like it's the, yeah, he's there on and off yeah, throughout the exactly, day. Exactly, yeah. Because he likes to train when no one's there. Yeah, no one's there. And I mean, I mean, I seen him one since I've been there. I seen him one time, and he was you know leaving. But yeah, I see like the energy that's that's in there, and it's it's a real you know good place. And it's like you know that's the kind of energy you want to train around. And it's like nobody's really you know bothering him or getting in his workouts. But you know he's there still showing that respect to everybody. Showing yeah, up exactly, yeah. yeah. When exactly. I was when I shot him at the Arnold, uh, mm-hmm. his manager Adam, I crack up all the time. I said I've mm-hmm. definitely said this before. Fucking, he, the amount of people that he has to tell he's got to go, mm-hmm. but he will stand there and sign every single piece, take mm-hmm. a picture with every single piece, every single person. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he could have a, a line that's three, four hours long mm-hmm. as he's leaving the facility. Yeah, and he'll still want to take a picture with everybody. Yeah, I heard he'd been killing the um the comic cons with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at I was there with him at. Um, <clears throat> I was there for muscular development and I was okay. filming him and they hit me up and they're like, yo, you want to go shoot Kai? And I'm like, well, mm-hmm. I'm already friendly with him and yeah. I know him, so yeah. sure, uh, uh-huh. I love him. So yeah. I went out there and we did like a little video recap. That was the, which one? The one in the city? New York City Comic Con. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Yeah. And it was dope, man. It, it was, was, it was nice, really right? cool. Yeah, yeah. It was good to, mm-hmm. it was good to be around yeah. him. I hadn't seen him in a couple months. He's mm-hmm. been crazy busy with the acting yeah, stuff. of course. So, That's like dope. I said, man, you, yeah. You see good people, man. Mm-hmm. There's, so, there's so many shitheads in this fucking industry. Of course, industry. it is. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Especially in life. In life, yeah. But in this industry. In this industry. It's a, exactly that we're around. Yeah, it is. Everyone yeah. thinks it's a big industry, mm-hmm. and it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, because word every, gets around. Who word people gets around. It's the smallest industry yeah. in the world. Yeah, it is. Because every, <sighs> really? You know what I mean? A lot of people know each other, you know, or you done seen that person, that person. Even people that's not even in the same cities or towns. Everybody done... Because of social. Come, yeah, exactly. Come yeah. across, you know, contact with each other some way, somehow. But the worst I mean, thing is everybody don't really know. Everybody's heard something bad about somebody else. Mm-hmm. Nobody's saying something good like, oh, yeah, Measy looked fucking good this year. Yeah, that's true. That is that is true. They go, no, oh, it's, 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 oh, he's got to work on his delts or he's got to yeah, work on exactly. his back. Or, exactly. Yeah. That's it. Oh, well, he's covered in tattoos. looks like shit. Yeah, yeah. But Measy looks fucking jacked. Exactly. You, know yeah. I mean? you don't mm-hmm. hear good things mm-hmm. about people. The, the positives, yeah. You know? The, like off the off the rip. When was the last I mean? time you heard a good rumor about anybody? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, that's I heard, true. I heard Nick's fucking killing it over here. Yeah, exactly. That's I, true. I saw Nick's video. Uh, he an audio was bad for one third of a second. Yeah, that transition yeah, was right. dog shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of um, mm-hmm. he was in the meme of the really out of shape guy, and he's sitting on the couch with a beer. Mm-hmm. Was he watching Victoria's Secret? Or something yeah, he's like watching that? like Victoria's yeah. Secret, mm-hmm. like supermodels mm-hmm. of the yeah, world. Yeah. He's sitting there like laid back with sixteen gins. He goes, "Her nose is too big." Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Listen, man, it be like yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's Come crazy. On. It really yeah. does. It it be like that sometimes. Yeah. People yeah. people just we're we're almost. We're almost forced to see the negatives. The negatives we don't want right? to see other people do well, exactly, because we don't want to see them get to that next level, and mm-hmm. then we're still at the same level. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Nobody don't want to see every, every people move up, and yeah. when, when we could just easily be moving up together. And I'm saying, yeah, I mean, you get better, I get better. I mean, Nick get better. We all growing. I'm saying, with, even if we doing the same thing or we doing different things, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's the the round table. You know, everybody's everybody's up. You know. Yeah, we all work yeah, together exactly. to build each other up exactly, even more. Exactly. That's what that's what I like to see. I've been mm-hmm. I've been not I've been that way for a while now. Especially you know doing my own thing, having my own, and you know just you know working amongst other people, meeting people, and that's the type of people I like to be around. You know. You know what? It's yeah. when was the last time you saw somebody with a negative attitude? Uh, l- let me rephrase it. When was the last time you saw somebody? It was just a positive person, mm-hmm. right? And wants that mentality, wants to see their friends improve, wants mm-hmm. to see everybody else get better around them. Those are the people that go somewhere in this world. That is. You know that what is, I mean? Yeah. 
That is. The negative people who, I don't give a fuck about you as long as I make a quick buck. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a reason you don't hear about them. It's not about You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. You don't, you don't hear about them and that quick buck turns into, later on turns into nothing or something goes Loneliness. wrong. Loneliness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something goes wrong and you're like, yo, what the fuck happened to him? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And you was that but, person getting the buck. You know what I mean? And you know what's funny? Nobody gives a shit about mm-hmm. what happened to him. Exactly. Because he spent his life trying to fuck <laughs> people over. You know, how many yeah. calls a day do you get to say scam likely on mm-hmm. them or it's complete bullshit? Oh, God. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those That's people, true. in their minds, they might think, you know what, I'm hustling. Yeah, exactly. But to put down the betterment of everybody else in the world to try to make a quick buck to yeah. fuck somebody over, it's fucked. Yeah, man. It's the same thing as the people who scam elderly, you know, the elders. Yeah. Or they put the bad shows on, like real late night TV mm-hmm. when nobody's watching except them. Yeah. You know, do you remember your card, credit card information? Great, <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my it. grandparents have uh-huh. gotten mad phone calls uh-huh. about. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, we get your 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 granddaughter or your grandson, and they'll mm-hmm. say the name too. They'll be like, mm-hmm. Nick mm-hmm. is in jail, and you need to bail him out. Blah blah blah. Wow. They, they and then they'll put a they'll put a a, a kid on the phone, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I'll be like, Grandma, you gotta get me out of here. Blah blah. blah. Just to ju- wow. this is what you fucking do all day. That's crazy. Yeah. Yo, yeah. first and foremost, I ever find you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I that's want to crazy. make that very clear. Yeah, yeah, they, fuck yeah, with they, my my yeah, family. Yeah, they walking. That's walking too close to that line. Yeah, but they don't yeah. give. A fuck. My, gra- my, my grandfather I don't care Before yeah. we put him in the uh, mm-hmm. In the senior home recently mm-hmm. He was like You're not Nick <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you know, Firing right uh-huh. back at them They're like oh, uh-huh. And they hung yeah, up yeah, He knew what it was Yeah, I was like, Yo, Let him know grandpa yeah, You know what it is yeah. <laughs> You yeah. know my voice yeah, Don't exactly. be afraid yeah. exactly. Call me out on my shit exactly. if it, <laughs> He know you yeah. I got a cold <laughs> <laughs> That bullshit yeah, People kill me with that man mm-hmm. Yeah Scam likely I love that shit but, but listen, no. tell me, tell me about five uh, percent. So you got yeah. involved with five percent. Yeah, I got involved with five percent. It was um two thousand. It was like late on two thousand sixteen mm-hmm. when okay. I actually met Rich Piana himself. That's so, dope. Yeah, that's so I actually met him himself. You know, himself. I didn't know what was five percent. I didn't know nothing about you know too much about bodybuilding. Like I really got started getting the eye around the, the bodybuilding thing as far as the eye of interest around that time. I mean, so um. But yeah, I was working. I was with um, one of my artists um, that I was working for at the time. I was doing some runarounds with um, with Tyga and, and Cali in Los Angeles. Dope. And, and me come to find out, um, I met Rich Piana through um, the Kardashians' mother, because that's you wow. Know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was actually close friends with her. Yeah, exactly. God bless his soul. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I would never. Yeah. yeah that exactly. Was... Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I would never have thought big yeah. ass rich, rich Piano. Exactly. But you know, you know, <laughs> you know, money and wealth. Everybody yeah. come together. You know what I mean? Everybody come together. They, you know. But I, I, and I learned that. You know, being, you know, doing what I do and in the business I'm in, I, I learned that, and I'm like, wow. And I mean, powerful people. You know, they stick amongst each other. You know. Well, that's why the rich keep getting richer exactly. because they all exactly. leverage each other. And they yeah. just, you know, they just sitting having small talk, you know, balcony small talk and everything else. And then, you know, I got his attention because, you know, I came around with Tiger and his and his girl, um, her daughter, actually. He's like, oh, he said, what's up, man? And then next thing you know, I'm like, oh, what's up? And I'm looking, I'm like, oh, shit, this motherfucker is tatted up and big. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. shit, man. Like, what's up, man? Like, just, you know, just showing that, that love. And he's like, yeah, it was good, man. What's your name? And this is bad. This is, you said this is 06. No, this, not 06. 16. 16. Oh, 16. Yeah, okay. 16. So this was 16. So, like, you know, um, you know, me and him started talking. He was like, yeah, man, um, yeah, I'm just out here, man, just, you know, trying to handle my business, this, this, and that. Tell, you know, like, he, I guess they was, it was amongst some other business that he had going on yeah. as far as, um, because he was doing a lot of, um, he was doing a lot of, you know, renovations to homes, and he was doing a, a lot of, um, like, real estate and real estate and stuff like that. So that's when he was in a, I guess, getting into the market of um, doing, working with homes and actually in Los Angeles, actually. So then that's when, you know, he gave me some word on that. And then, you know, just to see, I guess, to see where my head was at. Then he found out, you know, who I was to Tiger, what I'm doing, this, this, and that. And he was like, oh, okay, okay, that's what's up, man. He's like, yo, you, you big as fuck, man. He, <laughs> he's like, yo, how tall are you? I told him my height, you know, he gave him my height. He's like, yeah, man, that's what's up, man. And then, um, you know, then like the next maybe f- 10, 15 minutes later, um, the, you know, the driver came to get us, you know, um, me, me and Tiger had to step out. But then he wound up, you know, giving me his number. He's like, yo, take my number. I know, I know you. You're not from out here, right? I was like, nah, man, I'm not from out here. I'm, you know, I'm from New York. He's like, oh, shit. He said, New York is the shit, man. <laughs> He's like, New York is the shit. And then, so, you know, then me and him just, you know, kept in contact from then. Just vibed. Yeah, just vibed. Mm-hmm. Right and then, the yeah, And then, um, you know, I never really looked towards, like, as far as working out too much or in the real, the best, the better, finer places that I was out there in Cali. So, I, you know, I gave him a hit up. And then, you know, he got me to come down to the gym and then. 
you know, he started introducing me to people in the gym, like old timers, young guys that, you know, he was cool and stuff like that. So it was, it was real, real cool thing. And then he actually, you know, through the time, through that time of me coming out, he actually told me about um, 5% and told me about the, the love it, kill it and, and what he had going on as far as, you know, his supplements. Cause you know, he was drinking his drink, shaking it up. And I'm yeah, like, oh, and, yeah. he had the, and he had the gallon, right? Yeah, yeah. he had the, 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 um, the big cup. I'm like, oh, shit, man, that shit is dope. Because, you know, I'm thinking protein shake, but it wasn't um, it wasn't protein shake. It was um, it was aminos. Okay. You know, aminos. And I think you know, at that time, I knew what mm-hmm. aminos was, but I wasn't somebody that was big on. You weren't well using, ver- you weren't versed yeah, on the supplement yeah, side. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Supp- the supplement side of things. I wasn't yeah, exactly as far as how important it is taking them in your body and to recover and everything else. I didn't. I wasn't to that to that extent with it. So he gave me the kind of words on that. And then he was like, yo, man. He's like, yeah. He said, you got to come out, man. You got to come out here more. I was like, yeah, I do got to come out. I, like, I got to come out and fuck with you, man. You, you shit. <laughs> I was like, you know everybody. Everybody yeah. know you. Everybody love you. Everybody was stopping him. Even like two people while me and him was just having small words, asking for pictures and all that. And I'm like, yeah, that's dope. Like he getting the love here. So I'm like, you know. So the next thing you know, he um got me to come out to one of his expos. Um, when I, you know, I made it out, but I came out just for this, not even for no other work. I came there just for this at the um, LA Expo, and then he was like, "Yeah, man." He's like, "Yeah, you gotta meet my team." He said, "You gotta be a part of my team." He's like, "Wait till you see my guys. Wait till you see my people. Good people, man." He's like, "Everybody got good energy." So I came around, and I was like, "Oh shit!" You know, what I mean, everybody was mobbed out, like you know, fifteen, eighteen dudes, and you know, girls, guys, even some, some even guys, you know, even some couples had their kids, and everybody, everybody was, it was just like, like a circle of family and it was just like love you know what i mean so you know he brought me in amongst amongst that kind of circle and i was like this is real dope then everybody then he was like yo we're gonna get some food we're gonna bullshit we're gonna go hit the gym i'm like let's do it i mean and then he saw would you guys go out there we, you, um, you were out in cali right yeah it was in cali mm-hmm. we went to um that was my first time actually getting a step into um gold's venice Ooh, okay right. yeah, the venice the venice goals because he was um he was when i met with him when me and him was at his gym his gym was um goals north hollywood Okay. Yeah, so we went to Gold's Venice. That was my first time actually going there. I was actually I've been over there like um like on the Venice the Venice area, the basketball court, the beach, all of that, but I hadn't actually never been in the gym. I even I never even been to um to the to the muscle beach over there. I, I seen it, I walked amongst it, but I never actually been in it. Mm. So he took me amongst that with you know, with his other people and then it was just like it was just a hangout good time and it was good energy. It was good shit and it was like, Yeah, I, I love this shit. So it was like when after that days or that weekend and that was those days there I was like like oh my mind my mind just kept replaying that weekend like yo this shit was dope that a great shit, experience yeah it was like dope I mean so it was like you know so let me let me ask you mm-hmm. real quick mm-hmm. so unbiased opinion mm-hmm. did you like Gold's Venice yeah Gold's Venice is, is nice mm. it's, it's, it's nice it's nice mm. it's nice mm. you like you like it you check <laughs> Huh? I fucking hated it. Oh, you hated it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I hated, hated it. that gym. It was it was nice. It was it was cool. It wasn't. I did not like it. I, I don't. I thought I'm, I mm-hmm. thought with with all the hype, mm-hmm. I thought it would be like a real competitor for Bevs. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I get what you mean. Right, not Mecca. Yeah, really? I get what you're for saying. Real? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Nah, okay. I think um to be honest with you, as far as the Venice goes, I think it's mainly based it. They base it Mecca as far as probably. More than not, maybe where not as a where gym. Where it all started. Yeah, well, yeah, that, it's just because yeah. Schwarzenegger was yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. That's really about it. That, yeah, but they should they should still, I mean, it could be an unpopular opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't really give a fuck if it is, but mm-hmm. it, they should at least have the old school equipment in there. Mm-hmm. They made that place. Have you been out there? No, I've never. Yeah, you're not missing anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Go, to, go to Gold's in uh, go, Setauket. What is that? I'll go, I'll go to the Planet oh, Fitness next door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real, though. Yeah. Um, I feel like they should have kept a lot of the old school equipment. Yeah, you're right. It is because you they did take it's a lot commercial. of that out. Yeah. It's commercialized. They got they that got sucks. some pieces, some of the pieces in there. But you, like you said, yeah, they took. It's not like Bev's, man. We got the old school. You got Nautilus. the old. Yeah, exactly. You do. You do. Shit. That's true. That's true. That's very true. And I, I went in there. I was like uninspired. I was. I was actually. I was. Mm-hmm. I was out there sure. filming, filming for Titan Grips. It was mm-hmm. dope. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. And then I wound up training with Shanique. Okay, Grant. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah, because she's she's working with them, right? Yeah. So she. So we started hitting shows together. We're doing side. Side delts. Okay, I'm cool, like, cool. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. you best be keeping up with me. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> She's dope as hell. Yeah, I had a great yeah, time yeah. with her. She's That's cool. What's up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I wasn't a real big fan of, of, mm-hmm. of out there. I'll tell you whose gym I did love. Which, which one? I love C. T. Fletcher's gym. The um, what is it? Um, what is that? Iron Addicts. Addicts. Yeah, Iron Addicts. 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 That was close. Addicts. The one, um, the one in Cali you went to. Yeah, okay. uh, Long Beach. Long Beach. Yeah, that, that I, was. I, I never, I never been to that one. I've been to the one that they had out in Miami. Dude, I got off the plane. Yeah, yeah. 
from from New York. Mm-hmm. I got off the plane, mm-hmm. grabbed all my video gear, and we yeah. went right there. Long Beach, yeah. That that oh, gym, awesome. everybody used to rock that gym. I, I remember that. Dope. And it was the, even the other gym that um Rich Etch, Rich actually actually bought me too as well. That um one of our teammates um he's still there now. My my boy Big Alex, he runs that gym in um Long Beach. Hmm. It's called Metroflex. Oh, that right. gym is yeah. the shit. I wanted to Met- go to. Metro, I visited Met- Austin. Yeah, Met- yeah, Metro is the shit. Yeah, I've, I visited uh-huh. Austin, Texas. Yeah. Oh my god! It's almost a year ago. I actually mm-hmm. might be going back next month for mm-hmm. some video work. But yeah. um, I visited Austin and I wanted to go to Metroflex. Yeah, so bad. Yeah, Metroflex is the I one. I gotta make the trip. The Long Beach one is sick. It's a, there's another one more, um, more, more, um, more north, but that one can't touch that the original Long Beach one. Yeah. I'm I'm a fan of a gym where I'm gonna mm-hmm. get some type of a illness. Yeah, exactly. Ailment. That's yeah. Ten, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, staff, mm-hmm. my, my body. <laughs> yeah. You need a after tetanus I'm, shot. Yeah, after yes. I'm done mm-hmm. training, not only am I going to need a tetanus shot, mm-hmm. but my immune system better be on high alert mm-hmm. because I want my body to be fighting the yeah. soreness mm-hmm. and the immune. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, immunity. That's, that's, that's it, man. Yeah, that kind of gym. That is that's that is Long Beach Metroflex because I remember when um I first, when I went there with Rich and his people, he was like, "Yo, this is like the only gym out here where you could do what the fuck you want. You could slam shit, throw shit." Do what you want," he said. He said, "You could stand on top of the machines with your with your, with your shirt off and scream and be, beat on your chest. Every everything, everything goes in there, and, and it's true. Everything goes in there. Well, that's why CT was always yeah, in exactly. there too. Yeah. yeah, you see, you walk in there, you see the, the the dirt, the chalk, everything all over the floor. You picking up everything. Everything is just there. Could you it imagine is, somebody from like a, <laughs> like a lifetime walking in <laughs> <An> equinox, to, <laughs> walking in and going to uh, Metroflex mm-hmm. when <laughs> CT was there with all of his boys? Yeah, training, yeah exactly. Yeah, and uh-huh. they walk in, they're like. The doors are open. Uh-huh. That's nice. Everybody, shut the fuck Hell up! Hell yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Oh yeah, my yeah, yeah. god! Hell yeah! Where am I? Is this <laughs> yep. a jail yard? And, and all of that is all of that is legit in there too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's it, everything it, goes. That's energy. Mm-hmm. That's what That's I want. True. I like that. And when I met CT, because mm-hmm. he was sick a couple of you know for the last mm-hmm. year or so, mm-hmm. yeah. he's been sick. But when I met CT, uh, I heard him scream from the back door. Mm-hmm. Oh, you did? I didn't uh-huh. even know that he was going to be there. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, you hear from the back door, motherfucker. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. my God, he's here. <laughs> yeah. And I walked up to him. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't get starstruck ever. Yeah. Like, I don't see famous people and go, oh, yeah. I need to take yeah, a picture course. with him. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I just saw CT, and I just fuck with his energy. And I just yeah, went, I went up to him, and I this made me even more of a fan. And mm-hmm. I said this on one of the earlier podcasts. Mm-hmm. But I, I went up to him, and I just went, I said, hey, man. I said, how you feeling? How's everything going? He mm-hmm. goes, Man, I'm blessed. And I went, That's what's up. Yeah. Oh, I love that answer. Yeah, that's, what's up, yeah. that's a great mm-hmm. answer. Great yeah. answer from a great dude, you know? Mm-hmm. And I got to learn how to answer some shit like mm-hmm. that because people hit, people in the gym, they'll be like, Yo, Nick, how you feeling? What's going on? What's going mm-hmm. on? I'd be like, Nah, another day. Yeah. Yeah. Like, fucking yeah. tired. Another yeah, day. Word. Another yeah, day. Yeah, it's the same shit. Yeah. <clears throat> but I got to start mm-hmm. throwing, some, like, that's one thing that I know I need to work on. I need to throw a little more enthusiasm yeah, out there. Exactly. Cause when, it, when it comes to, I'm excited on Instagram mm-hmm. and I'm excited throughout my day and yeah. I'm having a great time and yeah. I'm running around doing a million things. But like when somebody asks you and yeah. you go blessed, yeah, you exactly. go, shit, yeah. man, that's, that's, that's a great answer. It's great and it's mm-hmm. real. And then, you know, people could take that in to, to think about, yeah, he's, that guy's feeling, you know, his, his best is he's on top of the world, no matter, you know, what, no matter what the yeah, circumstance, exactly, yeah. no matter what, what situation he's in. Yeah. Or does the reaction yeah. that he gave you, you're mm-hmm. like, fuck yeah, you know what? That's, yeah. Good shit. Exactly. Yeah, man. I was taking back for a hot right. second. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And you and you took it in, and like you said, you still you know relish. Oh, that, that was. A, I'll time. always remember yeah. that, man. Yeah, because see? I, you know, you would think that a guy like mm-hmm. that, you know, not the stereotype. You think a guy like that would be like mm-hmm. feeling fucking pumped, yeah, about yeah. to hit on, mm-hmm. and, but, I was, but he's like blessed, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, so, that's so calm, yeah. that's so nice. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and it's real. It's but real. That's one word from one man that's affecting you today, and we're talking mm-hmm. about it. Exactly. I love that shit. You know what I mean? It's all about the energy somebody puts out on him. Exactly. I think about stuff like that a lot. I think about um, moments, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. moments in time that have affected me. Even if it's like a weird, it's like something weird that you remember that somebody told you, something that resonates. sticks out in your mind. It just resonates, yeah. and you don't even know why. Yeah, exactly, and it just stands, but it just, it's, stands it's, there. It's, mm-hmm. You can just recall mm-hmm. that moment when it was said to you, your exact emotions and feelings, mm-hmm. what was going on internally, and just like you, you're almost right back. In that moment, moment when it when it super first, weird when it first became what it what what it what it was. I got yeah. a lot of those. I, yeah. I do. I have a lot of yeah, those. Yeah. And every now and then, I, I think about them, and I'm mm-hmm. just like, hmm, was that something that I'm supposed to know going forward? Exactly. Or is that a, you think about it to that extent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, was that something? Because so for you, something to stick out, mm-hmm. I get told a lot of shit today. Mm-hmm. I get told a lot of funny shit today. Mm-hmm. Sad. Mm-hmm. Everything. So for something to really stand out, it's mm-hmm. just. It's weird how that works in the mind. Of yeah
And then, like you said, just delivering it to somebody else and letting it feed th that energy, feed off what you're saying. And is, that means a lot. I mean, it goes a long way. Yeah. You know I mean, mm -hmm. between yourself and then to that next per to that next person or then that, that person bring it to the next. It's yeah, it's, everything is, is recycled, but it's, it's good shit. You know what I mean, did so, you find that Rich was a, a generally positive yeah, he, guy? He was he was a real dude, real dude. And, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, even, you know, to a lot of people who didn't know him, who would think otherwise of him, he was a real dude, you know. So that's that's one thing I, I you know, I had loved about him, being with him, hanging around with him, you know, doing business with him, him pushing me as far as, you know, saying, yeah, you should you should go bodybuild. You should go compete, man. You look crazy, man. You looking good, man. Like every time, every time he see me, he said I like him looking better and looking better. And it was just because the energy I was getting from mm -hmm. from him and other people was just, it, it helped. You know what I mean? It helped my mental. You know, when you got that right mm -hmm. mental firing off, then everything just starts coming together, you know, especially if you want it that bad, it comes together, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he helped me with, with that. And it was like, it, he took it like, I took it like to another, like, mind state. And I was like, yeah, this is this is me. That's what I was going to say. It seems yeah. like he helped you really figure out a path. Yeah, exactly. Like, where, like you know, where the fuck did you really exactly. want to go with this? Exactly. Is this exactly. working out? I, yeah, you wanna, exactly. Do you want to pursue it? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, you're right. Because I didn't think to that extent. You know, I was just always the one just killing it in the gym. And, you know, dudes wanted to keep up with me, even though they could or they whether they could or they couldn't. You know, I still let them rock with me here and there. And, you know, and I, I, I learned along the way. And I got better and better, you know, as far as as far as the, the, the time I put in. I put mm -hmm. time in, so I, I mean, I deserve. It's, a, it's an investment. Yeah, exactly, yeah. it's an investment. Every every day, I even change. I change things, like you said, changing, like not caring about going out to party anymore, mm -hmm. and and rather, and I'm saying, thinking about that next day of the workout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The kind of yeah, you don't those things. Those that's what inspires. That's what drives you. That's what, I mean, happened, yeah. that's what happened to me this past weekend. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. you, feel, right, so you feel it, right? Everybody yeah. was hitting me up, go out, go out. They're like, yo, mm -hmm. come on to Patro, come out. Come mm -hmm. out. I'm just like, eh. And I, was, I sat there. I watched Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. Like, I watched the hours go by, seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine. I'm like, I got to do something, though. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wound up slant, and this my I had trained chest at 7 a.m. that mm -hmm. morning because mm -hmm. I had meetings and yeah, I had okay. a, a, couple of, a shoot that day. Okay. So I was watching Dragon Ball Z, and I was just sitting there, and I'm just kind of like, Yo, man, these dudes mad Jack. I gotta get back my ass okay, back. Yeah, I, I gotta yeah. get my ass over the gym. So yeah, I went and I hit uh -huh. back at eleven o'clock at night. Oh, word. Everyone's yeah, out at the bars. Yeah, I'm nice. hitting back at Profit. Yo, that's nice. Well, nice yeah, like dude, that's I'm like I'm that. sitting there fucking uh -huh. rowing and yeah. I, I started hitting that's arms. What I like to hit, yeah. Got uh -huh. out of there at one a.m. That's and then I was up. at the gym the next morning hitting that's legs at eight. See, that's what's up. That's what I like to hit. Yeah. And it just and I was gonna make a post on it, but then I said, you know what? I don't want people to think I'm like lecturing them all the time on mm -hmm. what they do mm -hmm. with their lives. Oh yeah, what they should be doing. Yeah, because yeah. everybody's got a different path. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoy going out to the bars and you enjoy mm -hmm. doing all that, Godspeed, exactly. enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, that's your thing. Everybody got their own thing. But for but for me, mm -hmm. I just know that shit. Oh, even when I was younger, mm -hmm. I never really went out when I was younger. When I went away to school, I was bodybuilding. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then even to this day. For me, I feel like I'm missing, and you can you can tell me if this is kind of what you feel like, because I feel like most guys say that this is why they feel they need to go out. Mm -hmm. They feel as though they're missing something. They're missing a girl. Mm -hmm. They're missing a party. They're missing something by not going out. But realistically, what happens is you go out, mm -hmm. and it's the same shit over same, and over same again. Shit. Yeah. You don't talk to any exactly. girls. Exactly, you don't. There's, yep. no, you just, like, like, you just, know, yeah. there's no smoke shows mm -hmm. out that you're exactly. interested in. You're exactly. sitting there, you're like, fuck, man, like, did fuck I really me. just come out? Wasting because my no, time, yeah. Wasting yeah. my goddamn time. I could have been mm -hmm. at the gym, Word. in bed, in relaxing. Bed, yeah. Exactly, that's true. And I've always felt that way, especially with my friends. that I had friends that wanted to go out every weekend, and there was weekends where I did go out every weekend. And after a while, I was just like, I'm so fucking tired. Tired of it, yeah. I'm tired of the same, seeing the same you bar gotta rats. Investing your time into getting dressed and ready and f figuring out what you're putting on. And this, this, and yeah, I remember spending time doing that. Like I used to take hours just to, yeah. Then I, then I amp get, yourself then, up, yeah, get ready, exactly. go out. Then I get out and I'm like, okay, I spend my little money and I'm like, like for what? What did I do that for? You know what I mean? And you convert the money right yeah, back exactly, to your business. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And something more important. Like it was like it's. It really feeds into no nothing. Yeah, you know, did think I, about it. Yeah. Did I touch on it on going to the club a couple weeks ago? Yeah, you said with your boy, right? This is this is something different though. Oh, like, okay. I don't think so. We went to the city. You might have told me, but maybe not. Yeah, the I probably told you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know Sam's listening. Sam, I love you, man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I pull. I, so we were out at the club, and uh, it wasn't popping. Yeah. Wasn't my scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wasn't feeling it. Yeah. And I'm looking at my watch, and they didn't have a plan to go out. Oh, wow. Nobody had a plan. I'm like, we're going to the city. No one planned mm -hmm. this out. They just assumed that at 10 o'clock at night, we were going to get into a club. 
I said, no, mm-hmm. no girls with us. Wow. Four dudes. Mm-hmm. You think that they're just going to let us in? No. No, nah, it don't work like that. No, nah, it doesn't. went to the city? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, nah, I nah, said, no, nah, nah. it's not happening. Uh-uh. Then, then we talked to a couple of uh, other guys at the front. Hundred ahead, hundred ahead. Yep, I said, exactly. Yep. That's kiss my fucking yep, ass, hundred yep. ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh, Why? It. So I can have one drink and leave. Yep, that's no, the city. Yeah, absolutely not. Mm-hmm. So we wind up uh-huh. biting the bullet and waiting in line. There was no cover. Okay. But you could just tell the vibe was like a mm-hmm. little bit off. And I, I'm like the dad of the group. Okay. I got so you. I go to them because they're all pounding drinks. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. We just got there. Damn. I said, guys, I want you to be aware of something. Mm-hmm. A couple things. Number one, they didn't pat anybody down the way in. <laughs> Yeah. I said, mm-hmm. number two, there mm-hmm. were no metal detectors. Nope. Exactly. I said, don't piss anybody off. Yep, exactly. Know your exits. Exactly. I said, I'm, and they're like, Ugh. no, yeah, no, dead ass. Word. You Some think, shit pops yeah. off in Word. there and you hear a gun go exactly. off. Exactly. You got to know where you're going yeah, ahead of time. You got to think with your brain, not with that yeah. drink. You know yeah. what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So mm-hmm. we were there for maybe an hour. Mm-hmm. And I, my buddy, his grandfather hasn't been doing good. Mm-hmm. So his mom hit him up and just said, Grandpa's not doing well, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we're just like, okay. So he's like, we should dip. You know, he's like, we should dip out a little earlier than that. I said, well, you're about to pull a nick. Yeah. I said, what that is, is we just leave. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Just, just leave. Yeah. You disappear. Mm hmm. Because if you start dapping people up to leave, exactly, that creates, then they're gonna be like, "Oh, that creates what? Tom, you're leaving? That you're creates, leaving? And that yeah. creates Tom, and that little Tom creates mm. small talk. Uh huh. And that small talk, I drags. never get the yeah. fuck out of there. Yeah, and then exactly. I miss you the don't. one o'clock train, and then it's five a.m. I gotta exactly. wait for the next one. You don't. Yeah. So I said to him, "I said, you ready to do this?" Mm-hmm. He's like, "Yeah." So I, I dap up my boy. I was like, "Yo, having a sick fucking time." He's like, mm-hmm. "You didn't know the drink you had?" I said, "Dude, I've had like four tequilas." Uh-huh. I look at my boy. Uh-huh. I have one. I have <laughs> yeah. one. one drink. Yeah. I'm like. I, I'm not. I'm completely sober. Yeah. I said. I, I said. Yo, have a great time. He turns around. I go. We're out. We out of here. Now right? yeah, yeah, we yeah. got 30 minutes until he asks where we are. Uh-huh. I said we gotta go. Uh-huh. We're in the back. You didn't see me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> we're on our way back. I said, yeah. Yo, pizza. Uh huh. 7-Eleven across the street. Yep. I need a gallon and some Sour Patch nice. Kids, yeah. and we out. out. Yeah, exactly. I'm done. <laughs> was, I usually do yeah. that in Huntington. Uh-huh. All my boys will be out. We'll be dancing and hanging mm-hmm. out. Everybody, I'll go. Uh, I'll be like, yo, man, uh-huh. I'm having a fucking blast. Everything's yeah. great. <laughs> Turn around leave. Yeah. They hit me up 45 minutes later. Yo, where are yeah, you? Yeah, at the bathroom? Where you at? Where you at? Yeah. Dude, I'm at home. home I'm, in my, yeah. I'm in my jam jam, exactly. son. Get the fuck out where are you? Yeah. You're uh-huh. still there? Yeah. There was nobody the there. What are you doing? Hell yeah. That's a good. That's a good one too. Just leave. Yeah, just leave. Yeah. But you gotta be excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta shit. be live with it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then you just turn around. And you just walk away. And you be going. <laughs> then you going with Sober it. Sober as a yeah. bird, man. Word. So you've been in the city mad mad times. Yeah, you? of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. City. So, um, I'm I'm always around the city, even though I I hate the city personally. I hate but the fucking city. I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, I hate it. I hate the city. Even. Even John, I was hyped when John first told me he used to live out there. I was like, Yeah, I was, you, I was living out in yeah, Chelsea. How and, you, uh, how you did it? Yeah, how you did it, man. Ugh. Like every day. You, you you did the trains back then, too, right? Um, no. The subway to get yeah, around. Subway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Subway, but I was, yeah. I was living really close to my work. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was taking the subway back okay. and forth wherever I was going. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm not proud of it. When I used yeah. to go into the city and I was working for the home automation company, mm-hmm. I would carry a blade on me. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. You, you got, got it, man. You got to. Yeah, especially you did the subway, too, over there as well. Yeah, of course. Uptown to downtown constantly. Exactly. See? What was that? A track? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. man. People get fucking mm-hmm. weird. Yeah. yeah, they do. The weirdos is out, especially nighttime, or especially like you go uptown. Yeah, different. Pl- yeah, it's, it's all over that shit. Hanging out, then people sitting around, people standing around, and you got the people coming up the subway. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. Yeah. It's, you got to watch out for the weirdos during the day. Yeah, it's like a you know the weirdos you expect them to be out at night. They like raccoons, mm-hmm. but if you see one during the day, there's something fucking wrong with them. Yeah, it's, something's it's, that's something's true, off. Though. And they just be lingering around, yeah. lingering around, just standing then, or walking. Then you go the other direction. Mm-hmm. I had some dude press me one time mm-hmm. in Penn. Mm-hmm. Big dude. Uh-huh. Homeless dude. Pressed uh-huh. me. And I'm, I'm nice to everybody. Yeah. Fucking, it was me and my ex. We're standing mm-hmm. there. And uh, I just got food. Mm-hmm. So I have a little extra that I was going to eat on the train. Yeah. And he comes up <clears> to me. Yo, literally like belly, chest in my face. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that close to me. I'm like, what's up, man? Yeah. And he goes, he goes, yo, what you going to do with that food? I said, Pfft. I'm bringing it home to mom. Yeah, I said, yeah. what are you going to do with uh-huh. this food? Like, yeah. what, what are you going to press yeah. me for fuck a fucking out, leftovers? Out of, exactly. out of my yeah. face. You think I'm afraid of you because you're tall than me? Yeah, because oh, of scraps. Yeah, beat yeah, the yeah, shit yeah, out of yeah, those yeah. nuts, Word, son. Exactly. I'm, I'm <laughs> eye level to those nuts. Words. Yeah. Oh, yeah, start with me, son. Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, just the man. audacity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I saw a chick year like three years ago. I saw this chick, met her, met up with her, and I'm on my way into the city because she lived in there. I
literally as I'm on the phone with her, some woman's in the middle of the street, a homeless woman. She's like, I'll suck your fucking dick to yeah, everybody yeah, walking yeah, by. Yeah, yeah. I, I said, whoa, that's, the city. That's the city. That's I said, well, the city the, in the, the summer. The yeah. I said, the city in the summer is so uh-huh. lovely. I said, can you hear her? Yep, is that a exactly. landmark? Yep, exactly. <laughs> can you hear her? That was a, that was downtown at, at night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'll, that'll <laughs> do it. Does. I knew it. That'll yeah. do it. I knew it. Yeah. Where, do you, where do you hang out most? I mean, um, all over, right? Yeah, I'm all over pretty much. Um. Pretty much different places, but yeah, like um, yeah, I think I say downtown. Downtown is real popular, or if not downtown, um, like uh, even just a lot of, I get a lot of um, inquirements about going even for work is um the um the meatpacking district that area. Mm. Yeah, yeah, meatpacking district. That's is, nice is, over there. Yeah, exactly. It's nice over there, and then it's a lot of you know, you got your business people over there. You got then you got mm-hmm. your people from out of town that's coming over there. Tourists, it's like tourists galore over there. That's where mm-hmm. they all want to be. And you got, you know, you got your sports players, you got your your rappers, you got everybody who want to be in that mix over there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and business wise, you're yeah. with you're with. Is there like a certain type of person? And what are you doing? Nah, m- majority majority. It could it could go either way. It could be either um either a regular average you know business businessman businessman on the high end, or I could be with I could be with a basketball player, somebody who's in the NBA. You know what I mean, somebody who's you know that's not even from New York City. And they in town, and you know I got business relation, and they call me. They want me around. They want me there. They want that safety, security blanket when they, you know, when they with their friends or they went when they meeting up with girls that mm-hmm. they don't come around <clears throat> into contact with. That's mm-hmm. that's here or so. You know, di- a di- a different situation. So yeah, it could be it could be that, or it could just be oh they just want to just stroll. You know, they I mean sometimes they just want to get out. I mean they out because they out. Oh I'm in New York for the week. Or I'm in New York for these days. I want to be outside. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. You want to be outside, but you know, I I would advise you if you're gonna be outside, then you you outside the right way. You know what I mean, if I'm with you and I'm I'm near, I'm around. I'm you know, I'm making sure you're good. I know I know these places we going to. I know these places at the doors. I know these places on the corners. Mm-hmm. Then we good. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna make sure you're good. Yeah, you're, I mean? the, so, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. their buffer. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I you know what I mean the thing is I pretty much know my surrounding. Or if anybody see me, even whether it's here or whether it's even even Cali, L.A. or even Miami, anywhere, they they know who I am. They know what I'm doing. They mm-hmm. they got the picture. You know, they got the picture already when it come to, when it come to me. Where's you know? your fa- Where's your favorite spot that you've been to? I mean, um, you, you're a New Yorker at heart. So yeah, I'm a New, New Yorker. Yorker. I'm a New Yorker at, at heart. But um, what you mean, just in general? Or yeah, in general? like to go. I guess to 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 where you worked. Oh, as far as working, I, I, I love Miami. I knew you were gonna say there Miami. You go. Yeah, I love there Miami. You go. Yeah, I love yeah. Miami. Yeah, I love Miami. Yeah, because Miami is like it's like New York, but it's like South, but it's like hot. He's hanging out. He's hanging out with yeah. the with, mm-hmm. with with the with the one percent. So he's yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like. He's seeing, there you go. He's yeah. seeing Miami. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Miami, Miami. Yeah. So mm. yeah, yeah. I love Miami. I love you know different areas downtown, South Beach, the beach, even Star Island, everywhere. You know, it's it's, it's beautiful, but at the same time, it's it's live and it's just you know. It's not your average average day, you know. You, yeah. It's gonna it's something something different to look forward to. So you're gonna have to teach me Miami. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to take a trip. Yeah, you're gonna have yeah, to teach me Miami because I don't. We could go. I went down there mm-hmm. when I was 18. No, oh, I'm sorry, oh. 17. Oh, you haven't been there since. <laughs> Haven't been there since, oh, man. Wow. And they didn't, uh-huh. I didn't get let in anywhere. Damn, uh, yeah. So my, uh-huh. it was my two boys. Mm-hmm. They were both 22, 21. Mm-hmm. And then it was me, the youngin. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I was. Oh, no, you know what? I was 19. 19, okay. Because they were 21, 22. Mm-hmm. So I was 19, 20. Couldn't get in. You couldn't get in nowhere? Nope. Nobody mm-hmm. would let me. I don't have a fake ID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never yeah. had Oh, well, that doesn't help. Yeah, that don't help. Yeah. But, you know, out there, I'm going to be honest, just like anywhere, you know, money talks. Yeah, I'm money sure. Talk, yeah, money talks, yeah. I'm sure you've seen some shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, money talks, and I know even down, I know it was kids. Yeah, 18, 19, they getting into them places with no problem, especially the, especially the girls. I knew you were oh, about yeah. to say yeah, that. Especially oh. the girls. Yeah, the girls, you got some little skimpy bullshit on, or your, your chest popping out, or, you know this mm-hmm. this and that showing, or you know this person, or you speaking that person name, then it's here. Okay, come on, let's let's get you in here. The girls yeah. and the guy with the fat wallet. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Exactly. That's what they out there for. So yeah, we'll go to Miami and uh, meet. <laughs> we'll pretend Meezy's our bodyguards. We yeah, feel yeah. a bit special for a day. <laughs> get out of here, dope. We'll, we'll get him a pair of sunglasses yeah, and that'll walk be around dope. with yeah. us. Uh huh. That'll be dope. That must be somebody. I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, just co hosts on uh-huh. a semi popular uh-huh. podcast. Yeah, no fucking big deal, baby. Word, exactly. We're going to keep the semi out of there for that mm-hmm. week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. Have you not uh-huh. heard of the Voice and Rizzles podcast? Get the fuck out of my face. It'll be good networking. Meezy, break their phone. Yeah. Word. Let's Bring do it. Phone. No pictures. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Word. No pictures. Fuck that. <laughs> Meanwhile, I got a camera in my hand. What was uh-huh. that? There you go. It was a charger. Uh-huh. Oh my god. <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that'd be dope. Miami. Yeah. Miami for 
sure. Holy shit. And you were doing protection for um for Charger. Uh Charger. <laughs> Tiger? Oh, wait, ah! wait, Miami? Charger. No, in, in Cali. Yeah, in Cali, yeah. I, I work with him mm-hmm. a lot. Um, I also work with out there, um, one of my clients out there is um singer. Um, he used to be a part of um B2K Amarion. I don't know if okay, you know. Okay, yeah, 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 that's definitely, that's one of my big clients, one of my, actually, one of my good friends. He's, I mean, he actually introduced me to a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of, you know, people with business hands, business management, um, people with record development, even people with other artists that also, you know, they, you know, they reach out to me, definitely in New York or yeah. even other situations, yeah. So, yeah, um, you know, every, I mean, that's the that's the big beauty of, it, of business. Everybody, you know, when you got dealing with good people, they they put you out there. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they're putting you out there and you don't even know it. Sometimes, you know, I get certain messages or a certain email on my phone. I'm like, who is this? Who are you? I mean, like, I'm such and such person. I'm like, you're such and such person. They're like, yeah, you told me you're such... I'm like, oh really? Okay, all right, let's you know, let's let's talk for a minute. Then they yeah. go once they start going into details, like, oh okay, okay. So mm-hmm. you know, I I mean, I know my people look out for me because I I take care of them, you know. Yeah. I take care of them, so they take care of me. So it's every business. It's my yeah, exactly. clients. It's my clients mm-hmm. giving me referrals. It's your clients giving mm-hmm. you referrals. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I, you know, that's the that's the real beauty of it. You know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. how, and that's of course that's how when we doing what we do or anything of, of what what we got going on, it grows. Yeah. It grows, and you know, success grows, and then that's what it's all about. You know. So I'm I'm all for that, you know. Anywhere, you know, I go. I go scaling anywhere. up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I go anywhere. Yeah. So, um, who do you work with in New York? New York, I got different clientele. Um, one of my artists here, um, actor, you know, s- songwriter, um, Mac Wiles. Mm-hmm. Well, Mac Wiles, I'm from. Um, he did. I know years back he did not 90210. Okay. He did that um TV show, the old you know the old, old hood TV show, The Wire. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, the I, wire, I know the wire. Yeah, 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 the yeah. wire. I know the um, shows. I'll mm-hmm. probably have to look them right, up. Right, right. The wire. Um, also have another, uh, you know, sort of a like a urban hip hop legend from the south. He's actually here too. Um, I work with him. You know, whenever we do things together, whatever he needs, he always me and him communicates. Like you know, every few days or so. Um, um, three stacks. I know you heard Andre three thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Outcast. Yeah. Oh, dope. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah. Outcast, yeah. That's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems like a cool dude. Yeah, he's real cool, real chill, real mellow mm-hmm. dude. I mean, good good people, good energy. Yeah, he knows a lot of people. You know, he's been around the business for a while. Mm-hmm. So he's mm-hmm. know he know this person, that person, not even just people out of hip hop, people in acting. Entertainment. People, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Entertainment yeah. in yeah, general. It's a whole. Well, it's like it's Rich Piano knowing yeah, exactly. Kim Kardashian's exactly. mom. Exactly. Everybody is. Yeah, exactly. It's a whole different Exactly. Thing. I'm telling you, I still I still can't picture him hanging out with him. That is yeah, exactly. you know, that was, uh-huh. That's actually I wanted to bring that up before. Uh-huh. I'm picturing right now a 13 year old girl watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians uh-huh. and seeing a Rich Piano oh, yeah, fucking pop up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Could you just go? What the that'd fuck? be comical. Yeah, that would be crazy. Yeah, that'd be crazy. The internet would have blown yeah, up. Yeah, the internet would have blown up mm-hmm. with with the caption. Uh, uh-huh. Kardashians own zoo creatures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kardashians release wild gorilla. Oh yeah, you funny. Fuck pit. Fuck pit bulls. We don't need dogs on the premises. We got. Gorillas. <laughs> you're, gonna get, you're gonna get fucking PETA on us too. Word. Tattooed gorilla? Mm-hmm. Is this ethical? Yeah, the ape, the apes is out. <laughs> yeah, man. That's I see him just sitting there on mm-hmm. on the porch. Yeah, just with his feet kicked up mm-hmm. with a glass of sweet tea. I don't know why. I oh, see the him sweet tea. Look, yeah, look, yeah. I see him pick yeah. it up with but feet he, up. Yeah, he had something similar like that. He was actually had a bit. <laughs> sim- he had a bottle on um, bottle of water. He had a bottle of water. Right. See, yeah. But bottle it's water. It's the five percent sweet tea. Yeah, exactly. That's there you, you know, go. you know if it's sweet tea, you know if it's five percent, which is good stuff. Is yeah. it good? It's fucking delicious. Yeah, it's real good. It's, that's it's the real only. Sh- real good. Like, I'm not a supplement guy, but that's one of the only one products yeah, I really that use. That you like, 5%. right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this three supplement companies back to back? That like, not he's not. I mean, you don't own the supplement company, but is this right, Nick? Yes. Nick Greg. Oh no, who was last time? Ew. Oh, um, Maddie. Matt. Maddie. That's right. Matt. Mm-hmm. So. Three in the past month. Three in the past, but yeah, oh, wow. people with oh, something like MFIT, yeah. Fit, okay. Muscle Sport, yeah. and, and then five percent. Five percent. So then, give um, give your plug. Give yeah, your plug. yeah, man, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. Because and then um even next week um next week um Halloween, mm-hmm. Halloween yeah Halloween I'm actually gonna be out at Halloween I'm gonna be um at, at a new grand opening of a gym in Times Square actually in the city. Oh, yeah, at a city um yeah I'm gonna have a booth there with five percent stuff there. I'm gonna be you know giving out stuff you know um, oh, Halloween that's yeah cool. exactly crazy day I know. Um, supplements, um, anything you want to taste, a test from the company or, you know, anybody is welcome to come out. You guys mm-hmm. are welcome to come out, you know, come hang out, bullshit, you know, and then, mm-hmm. you know, of course it's a brand new gym, so I know I'm going to have to, I'm going oh, to break it in. Yeah, I'm going to break it in. In style. I'm going to break it in. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. And it's in Times Square, so I just can't mm-hmm. wait to see the kind of environment, the kind of people that, that come around, you know, the people mm-hmm. that, and it's even down to the, to the lovers or the supporters mm-hmm. of the company, you know, so it's yeah. going to be nice. 
So now, qu- nice. question for you: Who's mm-hmm. running the company now? That obviously, um, the still, um, rich is we, no longer. Yeah, we still the same people as far as the the mainly head business investors. So he still, was basically like a, a figurehead. Exactly, figurehead, yeah. but also had like a you know also had like a big main share. Yeah, he had a stake as, in exactly. the company. Right. Yep, exactly. So yeah, just now is not no, it's not a nobody of an athlete substance. It's more somebody of you know of business, of finance, of the of the actual market. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I actually was there from day one, the backbone, everything. You know he's still there, and then you know the sales sales generates th- through them and through that circle. But then you know it's asked of athletes like us about product, about recommendations, about you know um, they reach out you know about ideas, about something new, something new to come forward or something. Or something old, or if it should change, or if it shouldn't change. But the main thing that you know, anybody that's you know in affiliation now, we made sure that we put you know we put first right now. Um, is we when it comes to Rich and his situation, his legacy, and what he was to the company, we want none of that to change. Yeah. you know, we want none of that to change. You want him to still be on the label, of course, yeah. of course because if it you know, keeps the legacy, of course. Because yeah. and then you know the good people in that mix. If you know he wasn't there, if he wasn't that guy for us, then we wouldn't be in these situations. You know what I mean? Yeah. We wouldn't be in these situations. I wouldn't be a part of this. I wouldn't know much about this. You know what I'm saying? To, especially at that time. So, you know, people like him is important. You know, you know what I mean? God bless his soul. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's big brother for real, you know, good guy. And yeah, it's it's been crazy, crazy, been crazy without him. But yeah, everybody you gotta when you think five percent, when you think, you know, love it killer, you gotta think about him first. Yeah, I mean? absolutely. Yeah, it's him first. I think about his yeah. old school videos I used to, I, I watched back <clears throat> when I first started. Mm-hmm. Uh he big to get big. Yeah, Remember yeah, those, yeah, those yeah. videos? But the one yeah, exactly. where he was where he was showing his daily meals. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like, I'm usually in the four of, on uh, in the uh, left mm-hmm. lane on the 405, late, late eating yeah, exactly. my oatmeal. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, shit, that's hysterical. Yeah, yeah that's when he did the um the whole thing with, um I think, being bigger by the day, I think. Probably. Yes. Yeah, 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 that probably. Was it. yeah, that's when he did that. Yeah, that's when. Yeah. Pint of Ben and Jerry's every yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, every uh-huh. night, yeah. I eat an ice cream, yeah. Yeah, man. I was doing that, man, yeah. when my, cl- my calories were uh-huh. up. I've been guilty of that too. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> Super strange. I didn't look like him though. <laughs> Nowhere what the near. Fuck? What I man? started resembling uh, uh, the Pillsbury Doughboy uh, more. Um, started getting that uh, tire. Oh, uh, man. You <laughs> know, almost as if it wasn't just the ice cream mm-hmm. that got him big, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Seems uh, like he might have been working out a little bit. Yeah, Push, pushing it. Yeah, man. <laughs> I want to know. Uh-huh. Uh, I want to know if if you can divulge, and mm-hmm. I told you before we started, mm-hmm. you 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 give as much or as little as you want. Mm-hmm. I want to know some crazy no names. Mm-hmm. I want to know some crazy shit that you have dealt some with. Stories. Oh, okay. Um. Definitely a. Sto- what sticks out? Um. A story. One time I'm with an artist. You know, I'm not gonna really throw the name out there, but yeah, no, no, no reason. But, but hip hop, of course, and cool. you know, you got the whole club scene. Ugh. You got the whole club scene. You got the you know, you got the girls over here, the partying over here, the the tables, the ho- the hosting <laughs> of it. Exactly. It's, it's ego in the air. Exactly. Yeah. You smell that ego in mm-hmm. the air, and then everything else, even you know the. Even the green is in the air too. Yeah. You're smelling that, and mm-hmm. you know it was, it was just one of them nights where um, it turned into like a. It was the club was probably the place. It was it was actually in New York City. The cl- place was like um actually um, I say about anywhere between twelve to fifteen hundred strong in people. Shit. Wow. Yeah, it was people. Yeah, and then was it a multi layer, multi level? Yeah, multi multi level. Right. Three levels actually. Got me feeling like I'm on power yeah, right now. Three, three levels, three levels, and there's you know other people of. Some other people with status in the building. Mm-hmm. I mean, the night is going, you know, good. The night is getting turned up. It's getting live. I guess, you know, all of the, all of a sudden, the craziest things seem to create or come out of nowhere within like that last little off ten minutes or off fifteen minutes of the night. Mm-hmm. Then you got that. Then one thing leads to another. Words lead to something else with one person, and then next thing you know, you know, physical shit get crazy. You know, some arms, some fists, some hand swinging. Next thing you know, it was one time um, I, we were actually in the host in the bottle section. So it was like maybe, let's say that area alone was probably like anywhere between maybe four to 600 people minimum at least. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got the couches, you got the, the bottles. Everybody got at least, let's say, three to seven bottles on the table. Next thing you know, these same bottles everybody drinking start flying. Oh. They're flying, flying with no, with oh. no regards. No regard. So all you're seeing is full bottles, Hennessy, Patron, 
you name it, fucking um, Ciroc, everything. Uh-oh. People you see in the glass bottle hit people in the head. Some wily coyote yep, yep. shit. Girls getting hit in the head. Guys getting and hit in the head. And that shit doesn't break always. Yeah, that don't shit, break. that's solid, man. That's and then you got the, the... They think it's the breakaway mm-hmm. glass in the movies. And then you got the, the crazy girls or the crazy um, groups of girls that's trying to get the fuck out of here. So they running, they running over every... They trying to run through everybody and then... Then once they run into a guy and that wrong guy got and that guy got that that energy turned up, he he grabbing the girl, flinging her like get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. He, you know what I mean, so it's like it turns into that type of. And then shit. all of a sudden they're exactly. questioned and off of the NFL team. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> every um every every speck of liquor that came out them bottles is all over the floor. So people running, oh. slipping. So you see people slipping, running, and I'm I'm just trying to get my guy out of there with his with his you know with his um with his. Group of, group of people was like maybe yeah, it was all three of us in the entourage. I'm trying to make sure they get out, even if I don't even get out properly. As long as they get out, I know I did my due, you know. So I already I already sent the text um to his driver that had to be outside immediately. We could he couldn't even get on the block because everything got Stacked. so yeah, exactly yeah. so chaotic. So thank God he was able to get to that corner and I was he was able to get out. But just imagine it was it had to, no lie it had to be like literally like. Four to four to six hundred just bottles, literally just in the air, oh my God. filled with liquor. I, I even felt some of them like whizzing by, yeah, whizzing, yeah. whizzing, whizzing by my head. Some like, matrix shit. Yeah, whizzing by my head. I felt them. I felt my feet kicking them. Mm-hmm. It was it was no regard. I had to punch two guys in the face on the way out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like it was it was it was bad. It was bad. You know what I mean, so yeah, I just those those days is the craziest. But of course you it's, of course you gonna th- you think about them later. Like what the fuck? Like <laughs> like what was You're I, laughing? Yeah, like where yeah. did this come from? What was I thinking? Yeah, we good. We good. I did that. My people was good, and they feel good about what I did and how I maintained it and held mm-hmm. held it all together for them. You know, so you're like their own secret service. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So definitely, and it's just like I said, it's just more so than anything. It's just yeah, ninety ninety five percent of the time, me doing this is just me. I don't have backup. I don't have crews. I don't. I don't have. I don't have that. So you that know? was actually going to be my next question. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I'm pretty much yeah ninety ninety five percent of the time is just just me. You know what I mean? And do you now? Why is that? Do you? Do you not? I mean, it doesn't have to be about splitting mm-hmm. yeah. costs or anything like that, or um, paying somebody. But do you just feel more comfortable getting I your own back? I feel comfortable, and then of course these people, you know, are comfortable with me. So mm-hmm. you sometimes you bring, you know, different people. They got different situations going on. You bring somebody around, else around, they like, who is this? You know, you can't trust everybody. You mm-hmm. know. Yeah. So then they're like, and people, yeah. and people aren't like you and I. Mm-hmm. They don't get starstruck. Yeah, exactly. Not like, oh. Yep. Yep. You, you're mm-hmm. right. Exactly. So and they yeah. might act some kind of way. Mm-hmm. And, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me just get a picture. Yep. Exactly. And they do it's extra weird. Yeah. Makes I, I had, you look like yeah, shit. Then I had that. Yeah. I had those situations before too in oh, other man. in other cities. Yeah. I'm, Looks unprofessional. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm just I'm like, this is such and such over here. This is such and such. Just play cool. Just play cool. And then next thing you know, they I guess wind up having a drink or two. Next thing you know, I'm. I'm just, you know, playing the parameters with my, with my eyes, and next thing you know, they asking for a picture. I'm like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you, oh, I mean, you my you my boy, you my people, like, just chill, you know. They're paying you. Yeah, you don't exactly. need a picture. Exactly. That's that's better than a picture. Exactly. So it's like, you know, come on, you know. But yeah, that. But that's but those kind of situations let you know that mm. you know everybody ain't. It ain't, you know, it ain't for everybody. Yeah, it ain't for everybody to be around in that kind of mix or setting or whatever the case is. Yeah. So if you, you want, I'll, I'll just start coming along with you. I'll yeah, start yelling definitely. at people. Let's get it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when that hear voice. Yeah, when hear get the voice. fuck word. out of my way. Exactly. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh-huh. I guess I'll just video it. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, you're, <laughs> I'm gonna say something bad. Mizi's yeah. gonna fight uh-huh. him. You're gonna put it on World Star. Uh, We're yeah, gonna make exactly, some money. Exactly. Word, word. We'll just put it anywhere, anywhere that we can monetize it. That's the dynamic duo. Yeah. YouTube will take it down because mm-hmm. they're like oh i heard that song in the club yeah <laughs> music copyright then bullshit we'll, yeah. then we'll put it back up mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but, man. is there anybody that you like working more with like that you do you gel with real good um well my, my my boy um my boy another my boy another guy from the south my young boy um soldier boy he's actually you know he's you know he's right yeah. now he's doing some jail time right now you know you know he be he should be back he should be home soon so mm. i'm waiting on him actually to get back so yeah me and him gonna make definitely be making some runs when he's back around was he doing some esports stuff too yeah that's exactly. dope that's e- cool. esports you know he did he's doing the thing with the video games good for him video mm-hmm. games the sneakers the the phone apps yeah, you name I'd be it. lying if I said I wasn't cranking it to that yeah, exactly. song, man. Fucking oh, yeah. crank that song, yeah. name it, yeah. I was out. In, I was, name it. Exactly. When I was young, man, mm-hmm. I was out there killing yeah, exactly. it. Exactly, <laughs> and that and that song is that song is like what over ten over ten years. I when think. did that come out? Wow. Yeah, that song is over ten years, and now me and him could be out out somewhere it's two three years back from now, and then that song is still just loved and like you know like it's brand new number one. I'm, yeah. I'm assuming that that was in 08. 
Oh seven. Mm-hmm. What do we got on there? Crank that. Oh six, oh seven See? recorded. See? Damn. Exactly. Released oh seven May. See? Exactly. All right. Exactly. Summer jam. Yeah, yep. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, that your boy, your boy was wearing shirts way word, too word, big. Word. He's when the dress, <laughs> that's when the, that's when the dresses was in style, yeah, right? They, yeah, I know, I know, I know that picture. Yeah, I know that. That's when the dress, that's when the dresses was in style. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, man. now everybody, yeah. now everybody's wearing uh, father sons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, might as well be naked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Dude, I, I got the new iPhone. I was telling mm-hmm. everybody I got the new one. Yeah. But I got this. I, I I've had the Max. Mm-hmm. Every phone, every iPhone since they had came out with the pluses. Mm-hmm. I had the Max, the big Max, ones. The big one, right? Yeah. I'm little, man. Uh-huh. I don't, I, my, my hands don't fit on yeah, that. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, like yeah. you, uh-huh. dude. Mm-hmm. So I don't need that all that room and real mm-hmm. estate on the sides. Yeah, I really true. just got it because it was better for video. Video, to yep, watch that's, it. That, mm-hmm. that, exactly. That's, I'm gonna be honest. That's the reason I got that. that but yeah. but that now piece, with the fa- yeah. dude with the father son shit uh-huh. and like all the jeans that yeah, I wear yeah, uh-huh. like from True Religion yeah. that are skinny jeans. We look like I had a hard on every time yeah, I went out to yeah, the club. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you I happy mean, to see me? Nah, yeah, it's exactly, an iPhone XS yeah. Max in my Word, pocket. Word, exactly. It's the nut butter. Uh-huh. It's tingling. <laughs> Word, exactly. And that should be just be be ripping, ready to rip right through. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. crazy. So yeah. now crazy. I went down. Dude, uh-huh. now it's weird. Uh-huh. The, the pants, the pants are baggier mm-hmm. back then, and the phones are smaller. smaller yep. And now and the, the phones like smaller, smaller, smaller and are oh, bigger, and the pants are skin tight. Exactly. Pants. See, pants got bigger than I mean, phones got bigger than our clothes. I mean, look where we at now. It's crazy. Can they fit anything on you, man? Yeah, <laughs> I see yeah. them arms. Yeah, man. I, I, yeah, I try. I try. I, I mean, I dress. I dress in our, our style and I wear for comfort. You know what I mean? If any, me trying to fit and do the whole tight fitted thing, I, I don't get the best feeling. Mm, yes. I'm not comfortable. I'm not me. You know what I mean? I need to be. I need to be. You know, mobile. I need to be able to move. You know. Breathing is nice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know. Exactly. So you got how many weeks you guys, you boys got, you guys compete together, right? Yeah, we yeah. Com- compete together. How many so weeks? Three? Three three weeks now. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, three weeks, yeah. three more weekends, yeah. And you are you working with? Three more weekends. By yourself or are you with Paul still? I'm still with Paul. Okay, yeah. cool. Paul, that's my guy. Yeah, Paul is my <clears throat> guy. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, Paul is the man. So yeah, he getting us to where we need to be this year. Mm-hmm. It's been another long year, but yeah, I can't, I can't wait to But you're a whole different person one. than yeah, you were yeah, last I year, know, man. I know. What's, your, what's the first food you're gonna eat off stage? Off stage, pr- probably probably burgers, my usual. But, yeah. but I've been but something. My mom been clicking, thinking about pizza though. I've okay. Thinking about pizza, pizza and cookies. You guys gonna yeah. be? Where's this? Westchester? No, oh, Jersey. Oh, Teaneck. Teaneck. Jersey. Ugh, I fucking hate that. You venue. hate that place. When the last time you've been out there? Oh God, uh-huh. I did. I did. Uh-huh. I try to I try to stay far oh, well, well, from yeah. the shows. There are dudes yeah, that yeah. love going to shows yeah. and taking stage pictures. Yeah. I am not one yeah, of those guys. Yeah, you're not guys. one of those guys, yeah. I stay far yeah. away from shows. Yeah, I noticed that. You mm. don't be at these shows, yeah. That's no. good thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just don't like, it's an all-day event. Yeah, it is, yeah. You're standing around, around waiting. Standing around, and yeah. just to yeah. wait for one person to come yep, up, exactly, or yeah. two people to come up mm-hmm, on stage. Exactly. I did I did photos for um, that girl, Jenna, sweetheart, uh, blonde. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Worked at Lifetime. Mm-hmm. Now she's at Equinox. She's mm-hmm. dope as hell. Mm-hmm. I... Went when she did. What did she do? May. What mm-hmm. was in May? Atlantic the States. Atlantic. Maybe it was. The, maybe it was the Mets Gardens. that she did. The Mets was in March. Yeah, that's Met, what no, it was. Met, Mets. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mets or Atlantic State. Whatever the fuck yeah. it was. One of, she one did of the one of seventeen those. dozen shows. Yeah. But like, I stayed for. She was, you know, in figure and all those. Mm-hmm. They go on yeah, yeah. last. They go on last to end. Yeah. yeah. Between, so um, I got there at eleven o'clock in the morning. Between figure, f- figure. What is the other one? Fitness and bikini. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get out of there until like three. Oh yeah, physique two is at the bottom. But at least they they. I think they pushed the men up first, but the girl, like you said, the girls is is, a, is a much of a drag, yeah. Day and yeah. there's a million of yep, them. Yeah, there's a it's more of yeah. them, yeah. There's well, more. The, the men have to go first. Yeah, I remember more. a mm-hmm. long time ago they tried something once, so like what they did, they uh-huh. finished with the bodybuilders at the end, like the big grand finale, the big bodybuilders. Mm-hmm. But there were people being hospitalized. That's when I was. That's when I was competing. Yeah, there were people being hospitalized. But that it must have mm-hmm. been you who told me that then. No, no, no? it wasn't me that told mm-hmm. you that. But, but that's when. Mm-hmm. When Regardless, I was they were doing that's how that. they the girls would go first. Oh, girl, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's how they probably felt. Like so they finished the grand finale, yeah. the big fucking bodybuilders, mm-hmm. and then people were, you know, by then you're cutting water for over yeah, exactly. twenty four hours, so thirty six hours. So you long. So know, long. You, you do one front double bicep, you're cramping yeah, up exactly. you're on the floor. As soon as you get to the stage, exactly. So yeah. now it's get the bodybuilders on, on get, get, get them, the, get the big guys mm-hmm. on, and then get the fuck off stage. Get them off stage. Yeah, get them hydrated, get them fed, and get them laid down, rested. Yeah, because get them out of the hospital. Exactly. Do you guys generally cut water? Cut water, yeah. Yeah, but uh, how far in advance? Cut water. Um, I think it's six p.m. the day before. That's what I did. I did four p. Five p.m. Yeah, the day cut before. it
my coach yeah. at the time he was like, oh, you can only have a liter of water or whatever mm-hmm. he said, like a half a liter or some shit. And I then chugged when, yeah, that yeah. fucking gallon. And then when <laughs> that water is cut, you, you feel so dry. You Like everything just... Like, oh, dude, I just... <clears throat> that's what happened. That was one of my mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> my mistake on my first show, that was my mistake. Um, I made that mistake. I was dry that next day as far as the way I was feeling. Mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't have no... No hydration since the day before, first show. I didn't have no liquid the next day. Um, I got on stage with my um I got on stage with my call out, um, posed, um, did the comparisons. The worst thing I could do that my one of my homies told me that I did on my first show. I I was so dry, I couldn't help it. I, I guess I just went and got it. My mind just grab grabbed it. I, I was chewing gum, posing on stage. So I'm it's like it's, oh. like it's like front double bicep and I'm smiling and just chewing gum. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> chewing gum. Side chest and I'm chewing gum, yeah. Chewing gum. I got <laughs> no. I, mean, I got the Wrigley's in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That was a big, big, you know, big you know, it's something you do in your first show, yeah. you know? You know, so but yeah, um I learned. When it comes to cutting water, this mm-hmm. is for the people who are new to this and are trying to understand it. Mm-hmm. Your muscles are ninety percent water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. if you cut your water like two days out, mm-hmm. First of all, you better get an IV ready because you're gonna go to the hospital. That's true. It's terrible for That's you. That's true. Yeah. But aside that, you're gonna flex and nothing's gonna happen mm-hmm. because your body's gonna pull intramuscular fluid. Mm-hmm. That's true. So the way we usually do it is mm-hmm. say we're competing Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for a guy like my size, I'm easy. So we'll mm-hmm. be drinking three gallons of water. Yeah, exactly. What that'll do is all that excess water in our body just intake. It's mm-hmm. gonna pump up our aldosterone levels. Yeah. What the aldosterone does is it tells your body, hey, you don't need to hold any water. Because we're clearly taking in way too much. So mm-hmm. you start pissing and pissing yep, and pissing. Yep, that's when that's coming, yeah. And aldosterone suppresses cortisol, which makes you hold water. That's mm-hmm. why it stops that. <clears throat> so for three steady days of that, when you're that lean, your body's mm-hmm. like a microchip. Yeah. So it responds instantaneously to mm-hmm. everything you're going to do. That you put so in. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three gallons. Thursday, you're going to take in two. Mm-hmm. And you're going to keep pissing as if you're drinking three. Mm-hmm. And then Friday, we would drink a gallon of water, but right. finish it by 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then obviously, you know, you're taking your diuretic, you're mm-hmm. doing whatever. So you're pissing and pissing and pissing. Your cortisol is still suppressed because your mm-hmm. aldosterone is raised up. Yeah. And your body still thinks you're taking all this water in. Exactly. So, and it's just in the body, right? In the cell. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So you keep pissing and pissing and pissing out the water weight because your body thinks you're still taking in this giant Bring excess of water because of, of the water that's hanging around yeah. fucking exhausted thinking about yeah, this right? <laughs> but my point is I did cu- my two and done but uh-huh, we're cutting did, water right? from 6pm mm-hmm. the day before the show, yeah. the show yeah. not Thursday evening you know yeah, what I mean exactly Just one I had somebody day, I know yeah. ask me about mm-hmm. what's that water pill expel no yeah. I took expel that was that's MS that's yeah. yeah that's that's a bullshit one MHP yeah you know that that shit's hit or miss because it either works really good, good or exactly. too good or yeah. it's, it doesn't do a thing Some, the first yeah. show I took mm-hmm. metabolic nutrition well they have they their, have one? theirs was Hydravax okay it was mm. good <laughs> my God mm-hmm. was it good oh wow holy shit <laughs> mm-hmm. dude I I was I couldn't stop going to the bathroom and wow. it was just an over the counter uh-huh. it wasn't yeah. anything yeah. serious yeah. serious yeah what's yeah. the serious one. Uh, um, diazide or LASIK? That's the one. Yeah, those, are, those are pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Yeah. Diazide. I. I. I, I, no, I LASIK, LASIK. LASIK is the big one. Yeah. LASIK is the no sparing. Fuck you! I'm gonna pull water everywhere I can. Yeah, it's gonna str- so if pull you take that most, is that so? If somebody gets hospitalized, that's more. Yeah, they probably use the hard to hard one. Yeah, majority. Yeah. yeah, majority. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one is strong. Or yeah. they cut. Or you know, maybe they didn't use anything, but they cut their water three days out, and they've been dehydrating themselves. Mm-hmm. Well, I had days. somebody tell me that they were gonna cut water mm-hmm. a uh, no, I'm sorry. no 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 <laughs> a no, year no no no, 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 no. <laughs> a week in advance. Mm-hmm. And I was just, he's like, oh, I'll take one pill here and one pill. And I, oh, I don't know doses. Pills? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know doses. So yeah. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. is Good that luck. good or bad? Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to go eat steak. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go eat steak uh-huh. in a Ben and Jerry's because yeah, Rich, Rich Piana told me to. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, uh-huh. man, I, I'm excited to see you guys. Yeah, man. It's yeah, going to be great. Yeah. I might be there. I don't know. Okay. I might show up for John. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, that'd be When is it? The 9th. The 9th. The 9th? The 9th. I'll look after. Yeah, just yeah. come for just come for finals or something. Don't spend the whole day. Don't yeah. waste your day. Yeah, don't waste your day. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you Although guys. when <laughs> we're competing, don't waste your fucking time. 
Mm-hmm. I'll, shoot, so I'll shoot you a text. I'll let you know right. what happened. Hey, don't come. I blew it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody live stream it. Oh, we just shit. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah, there we go. See? There's the new million dollar mm-hmm. idea. Live exactly. stream these shows. Not everybody has to show up. Yeah. Exactly. Send the check, IFBB, NPC. Mm-hmm. No, they're going to send the bill because nobody's buying tickets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, don't, exactly. don't. You don't know where we are. Mm-hmm. That, we, we take the Bat Cave every time we take a picture in here uh-huh. now. That's yeah. it. You don't know our location. Bat Cave is secret location. That's what I usually do. But, yo, for real. Love talking to you. Yeah, man. It was it was great, man. You're yeah. the homie. Yeah, of course. Um, of course. Down to earth, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Of course. I this is our first time meeting in public. Yeah, we, yeah, like yeah, person. Yeah, person to person, yeah. We've only DM'd each other. Yeah, yeah. A little back yeah, and we forth. We did talk a while, yeah, for a little bit, yeah. Yeah, only DM each other, so I'm glad John brought you in. Yeah, definitely. It's always dope when definitely. I get to. And I love I love what y'all doing. Y'all, y'all killing shit, man. Thank I, you, man. I love little it. by the week. Yeah, week by week by week, and y'all just getting it better, and it's just, I see it's just growing and growing Thank and growing. You. Well, we yeah. didn't even do a fucking intro today. We were just, mm-hmm. we jumped. Oh, shit. No, no, we, we jumped right in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love it. No, that was great. We're going to do it. You do the outro. We'll figure the intro out. I was about to give you an intro. No, we might just roll through. True. I like mm-hmm. it. Yeah. <laughs> because it was just it's it was real. just it's we real. just we just got right into it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's it's it. Real. That's but that's how I want it. That's how so you we want, say yeah, it every exactly. episode. Mm-hmm. We want it to be a natural conversation. Exactly. We've been getting some amazing feedback. And mm-hmm. everybody listening, mm-hmm. we appreciate every single person. Even of if you course. put on for ten minutes, I don't exactly. care. I appreciate you. Thank you. Know, you. If, of course. If you made it this far, we had one person message us. Mm-hmm. Is one episode enough for you guys? Or do you want to hear a little bit more, like yeah, a second we, episode. A couple people have said that week. to me already, that they uh-huh. want to hear multiple a week. Yeah. Oh, for real? So maybe we'll do two. We'll oh, do one wow. with a guest, so, one with me and him talking about oh, some shit that's to, going oh, on. Okay. Yeah. That's cool too. Yeah. Like one guest comes on one day, the next day that's Nick cool and too. I will talk shit about the that's, guest who we just said cool on. Too. Yeah. That's cool too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do another podcast and, and, tomorrow. And, and, like, and if y'all did that, it also builds the y'all chemistry with each other so when somebody else gets with y'all, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get tired of it. Yeah. Listen, like when he, the uh-huh. story, everybody asked me, how'd you, how'd you and John get into this and this uh-huh. and that? Oh, it's funny. It was the funniest thing ever. And I, yeah. I know some people may have not listened to the earlier podcast because they might have started with the guests. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. the way that we started was he approached me and just yeah. said, oh, I'm looking to do a podcast, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. In my mind, yeah. I'm like, oh, he wants me to film it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I said, gotcha. Right, I got gotcha. you. I said, I said, let's, let's, let's set up a meeting and mm-hmm. we'll talk about it. He goes, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. Set up a meeting. Yeah. I did a little research on what microphones and equipment that he would need, this and that. So I'm like pitching up. Basically pitching it to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, hey, you know, this, this, this. Because, yeah, you know he, all of those other little things. Yeah, yeah you know and I said, things. I said, and then I'll, I'll, I'll want two angles on you, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And he goes, five, ten minutes in, he's like, no, 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 oh, you're not understanding this. Yeah. I want you to do oh, it with me. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> and, and we yeah. were always friendly. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, exactly. We weren't yeah. like BFF, so mm-hmm. I was kind of like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, cool. I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. cool. Give cool. it a shot. Cool, exactly. And it's been a great decision because we we gel really well. That's what's up. We have a good team. That's what's up. And I can't, listen, man, the table. Split it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't, I couldn't ask. He throws me some mm-hmm. for the rent. Like exactly, I want to put that plug out there because not because I'm trying to like do that, but it's mm-hmm. it's part. It's the it's half the reason. Exactly. That shows that it's a fucking team. It's half the reason it's fucking studio. This mm-hmm. table hates up half the room. Exactly. Where? You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? Word. Like it's uh-huh. just it, it's. I appreciate that. I I'm like teamwork. I like good people. Mm-hmm. Like vibing well. So. Every What's episode, about? every you text, that. Yeah. every mm-hmm. meme that he sends me, mm-hmm. yeah. that gets deeper yes, and deeper. Of course, so, and, y'all, and y'all building along the way. Absolutely. So y'all building. And definitely. you know, this is episode 17. 17. Oh, nice. 18. 18. 18. Wow. Shit, I got to start learning this. You got to start listening to our Damn. fucking episodes. Up, I fucked up last time, too. Damn, 18. <laughs> so figure, we have over 30 hours of just sitting here, Damn. me and you chit-chatting. That's true, man. <laughs> That's nice, You know what man. I mean? So I hope we'd find by now. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, we wouldn't know if there were problems by now. That's yeah. nice. But yeah, yeah. I'm going to have John kick this outro. Okay, okay. So, thank you everybody for tuning into this week's episode of The Voice. And Rizzles, joined by... King Meezy. That's it, baby. That's my man right there. Word, word, word. Peace!